Hello and welcome to this week's Cities in a Snap event. I am your organizer and host, Kazjem, and I would like to thank all of you for coming out today. A couple brief things. First of all, thank you moderators who help make this happen. They help keep the chat uh, kind of sane. They also help answer a lot of questions. They also do things such as managing the Discord, managing our Facebook page, keeping the Instagram and Twitter running, and a variety of other activities such as being giveaway wardens. Also, I want to thank all of you who helped make this event happen on a weekly basis. This, ha this does take a lot of man hours on the back end, and uh, it's up to you guys to make sure that it can continue. You guys can help contribute to the Cities and Snap event directly by subscribing to this channel here, twitch.tv slash cities and snap, or by going and giving bits, or you can donate uh, directly, or you can even sign up for our Patreon link down below. And we also want to encourage all of you to let your friends know how you spend your Saturdays and also be sure to hop in the community discord. We are in there all the time. We're answering questions. We're responding to feedback and we're continually trying to make this event better for you, the viewer. Anyways, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you to this week's participants. And I hope you enjoy this week's cities in a snap. And here we go, folks. Ten seconds left. Get the hype rolling in chat, folks. Get the hype rolling, and we've got three, two, one, and start. Cities in the Snap has begun. We are off. We are rolling, folks. There we go. Get that hype rolling in chat. Welcome to this week's Cities in a Snap event, where we have four competitors competing to build the best city they can in just two hours' time. So let's go ahead and introduce this week's competitors. Our first competitor is Early Rave. Early Rave is newer to the Cities on a Snap scene, but has been a viewer for a while and is not new to the City Skylines community as a whole. We can expect to see some macro style detail from him, and I know that he is trying his best to do something that isn't quite fall or winter themed. He didn't tell me exactly what, but he said he wasn't going to fall exactly into that mold today so we'll be excited to see what he does today and competitor number two we of course have cyber scythe cyber scythe is a wonderful human and definitely a part of this community that you probably already know but in case you don't uh this is his first time actually building on city of snap and he is here to show us what he can do he is great at detailing great at city planning and does a really good job of creating interesting road networks around his city so we are really looking forward to see what he does today Number three, we have Night Morphus. Night Morphus is not new to Skylines or to the Cities and Snap community. Uh, for those eagle-eyed viewers, he is actually one of our moderators here on the channel. He actually helps us out there. He helps us out on the back end, and he does a lot of other stuff, hangs out in a bunch of different communities. He is a legend. Go check him out. He is a great detailer and beautifier. And then in slot number four, we have Taradra returning to the fray after about seven weeks off from the event. But he's back with a vengeance, and he tells me that he is going to get second place or better. And I tell you what, that's going to be hard to get better because first place is, of course, Polyphony. So he is going to be doing his best to get second place no matter what it takes, and he is going to build the city of our dreams. He is known for doing speed builds and doing a lot of huge city builds. So be on a lookout for just how much popular this guy manages to uh, it in just two hours time what's the other theme for today just general festivities it's just festivities it can be whatever you want it can be christmas celebration it could be easter it could be thanksgiving it could be halloween if you really wanted it's just festivities we just need some festivities in the air 2020 is nearly behind us so we need to start separating that we're almost to the next year never heard of any of these never will <laughs> Oh, Slim, what are we going to do with you? So, let's go ahead and move on. And what I want to do is, uh, let's go ahead and introduce some of our competitors. And actually get into an interview with them. So, of course, competitor number one is Early Rave. What's up, Early Rave? Hey, guys, yeah, welcome in, man. Awesome. Wait. And then, just curious, everyone can hear him, right? Yes, they can. Sorry. Because, as you know, we've been uh, having audio issues. But they can all hear you. Beautiful. Oh, uh, glad to so, hear that it's all fixed, so. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's all fixed. So, how are we feeling? Uh, how are things looking today? 
Well, I'm I'm getting nervous. I don't know why, but still. <laughs> oh, really? So you're still nervous, sir? And thank you, Eclipse Chris, for the raid. Really means a lot. So, early rave, uh, you competed last month for the first time, and you're already back for more. Does that mean that you actually like subjecting yourself to this? Well, for some, sometimes yes, but I know this will be for now the last time that I joined. In a oh, while. really? Ooh. Yeah, I need some time off, so. Ah, oh, well, you know what? That's fine, but I bet you're going to do well. So, what kind of festivities do you have planned for us today? Uh, well, I... It's not a really typical festivity like like Christmas or anything else, but we'll see. it's it's a fun part. It's going on with a sport team. Let me say it like that. A little hint. Oh, okay. I like the fun, I like the feel of that. So, oh, you not only have all that, but what do you think of the map? This is kind of an oldie but a goodie. Elena Falls. This is one that if you've ever looked for maps on the workshop, odds are you've run across this. Uh, what do you think about building on this map, and have you built on it before? Uh, no, I have not built on it before, but I really like it, actually. It fits my ID more with some mountains in it. Oh, really? That's actually really interesting. And yeah. it's interesting, so you haven't built on this before. Have you at least seen it before? Nope. Interesting. It's kind of an oldie but a goodie. It's, it's weird running into people that haven't come across it too much, but hey, you know, nothing wrong with that. I love introducing people to cool maps, and this is an interesting map because you have so many different zones that you can build in. You can do something high in the mountains, you can do something following the river, you can do something down in the bay. It's got a lot of different options, and it's really cool for that reason. But the next thing I want to pester you a little bit about is your competition for today. So you're up against Cyberscythe, Nightmorphus, and Taradra. So what's your thought process on your competition today? Well, I know Taradra... Well, I've seen him stream on occasionally, but and I know Cyber pretty well, so I know what Cyber is gonna build a sort of team. Oh, you but do. With Night well, no, not really with what he's gonna build, but we talked a little bit about it. But it's all different than what we do. So he's also normally pretty much detailing. So it's true. You both are known as detailers, but. Again, it's interesting seeing a couple of detail, and actually even three, because Nightmorphus is also a pretty good detailer and beautifier. So, I mean, we've got three of you guys this time. It's almost a little details in the snap. <laughs> almost, almost, yeah. Well, almost, I'm yeah. Trying to, I'm trying to get that feeling better, so. Well, hey, nothing wrong with that, but you've got a lot of work to do in the next couple hours, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of your here, let you keep building, and folks, be sure to check out twitch.tv slash earlyrave, as spelt over there with the three at the end. And cheer him on, let him know that you're enjoying his build. And Rave, we will be with you around the halfway point. How's that sound? Ah, oh, that's fine. Sounds perfect, man. Hope I can show you some more then. I bet you will. Alright, and next we have participant number two, Cyberscythe. What's up, Cyber? Uh, not too much, not too much. How's it going, Kazgum? Kazgum, sir? So, uh, okay. it's going pretty well. So... It's a great day, festivities, we love it. So, uh, first of all, what do you think of the map choice? Elena Falls, kind of an oldie but a goodie from the workshop. Uh, uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, interesting. A lot different than I was uh, expecting. A lot more mountains and uh, valleys. Was, uh... Still a lot of yeah. flat area, though. It's got a lot of flat, buildable area. That's something that makes this map so cool, is you have all the I mountains, remember, you have yeah. all the water, and you've got... Plenty of build space up top, you've got build space down below. There's a couple pockets of sizable build space in the corners of the map. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with this map. And I'm really excited to see where everyone builds. Not just what they build, but where they build on such a map. But also, so what kind of festivities do you think we can expect to see from you today? Uh, I'm going for the um, autumn harvest. So we're doing like a lot of apple trees, a lot of apple orchards, a lot of pumpkin uh, orchard or pumpkin fields, and yeah, a lot of hot air balloons and kind of festivities that are based around that. Nice, I like the sound of that. So you've got that rolling now. What do you think of your actual competition today? You're up against Early Rave, you're up against Nightmorphus, and of course Taradra. So I mean, you've got quite the variety of competition today. Um, yeah, competitions are pretty uh, pretty fierce, uh, I would say. Uh, I don't know too much about Taradra and uh, Nightmorphus, but I know why Early Raven, he's, uh, he's a very good uh, city builder. So, yeah. And well, since it's my first time in our uh, city... Sorry? Oh, no, I was just saying, well, Nightmorphus is definitely someone who qualifies as a beautifier. And it's something that's really interesting to see him in the game for that. Now, something else here is you are new to Cities and Snap as far as building in it, correct? Uh, yeah, that's correct, yeah. Awesome. So you want to tell us a little bit about what's going on with your 
uh, they'll sort of like introduce yourself to the community. Like, what could we expect to see from you as a whole? <laughs> well, um, yeah, well, I'm CyberSafeX and yeah, I'm an Australian uh, detailer. I'm a very uh, macro detailer, so I do like my uh, intense uh, detailing. So doing uh, cities in a snap is a lot different than uh, what I'm uh, what I'm used to. So it's going to be very uh, very interesting. Awesome. But so now, as far as uh, your experience with it, so I mean, you've applied for this before. You applied, I, have, I think, yes. for it was either September or October. I don't remember which one, but then something came up. So you know, stuff happens. But you're back now. So does it feel good to finally be in it? Are you getting a little nervous? Uh, how you feel? Uh, I'm definitely definitely nervous. So yeah, we'll admit that. But it's good, right? It's good. You know, it's the first time. So, yeah. Right. So, again, yeah. folks, new participant, CyberSythex, <laughs> be sure to go cheer him on, and we'll be back with you around the halfway point. Thank you. Good luck. Awesome. And participant number three now, Night Morphus. What's up, Morphus? Hello. So... What do you think of the map choice today? Elena Falls, an oldie but a goodie, and I figured that you get a nice kick out of it, given the running joke at this point. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! You know what? Every name I have <laughs> way here. <laughs> you know how. <laughs> yeah. So, are you going to name the infamous avenue in this infamous map, map now? That's the, real, that's the real question. Probably, probably. <laughs> probably, okay. I'll look forward to that Easter egg later. So, what do you think of your competition today, and what kind of festivities can we expect to see from you in your build? Well, as I you probably see, I've got uh, about something about Christmas and something like that. Don't spoil it too much. Ooh, yeah, so something around... Christmassy maybe? I mean, for you, it would yeah. be Christmas or Birthmas, since your birthday is kind of around there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And as far as competition, you're up against Early Rave, you're up against Cyber Scythe X, and of course Taradra. So what do you think about the guys that you're up against? Some pretty stiff challengers. Yeah, I never watched uh, Cyber streams because, yeah, probably he streams in some different kind of hour than mine, than when I'm online. But yeah, I know the other two pretty well, especially Taradra, and he's a tough competitor. Com yeah. Oh yeah, definitely really tough. Now, as far as your own build, uh, you uh, you came on last time and you did really well in your first showing in Cities and Snap. You did Thanks. beautiful detailing and beautification that people were just like, this is great. Can we expect to see more of that from you today or are you just going to go for more broad strokes? Hope to have enough time to detail. <laughs> I awesome. should have. Well, we're going to have to look forward to that. And folks, again, this is twitch.tv slash Nightmorphous. Be sure to check them out. Give him your support and let him know <laughs> that you're rooting for him. And Morphus, we'll be checking in with you uh, around the halfway point. How's that sound? Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. And now we are on to participant number four, Taradra. Hello. How are Hello. you, the terrific Taradra? I, I am doing fantastic. How are you today? Uh, Doing beautiful. Season of Snap Day and whatnot. Can't go wrong with that. So... What can we expect to see from you today? I mean, it's it's been a while. I mean, I feel like it's been ages since you've gotten second place. You're going to see festivals in a very slow snap. It's going to be like this. It's going to be slower than that, though. I do that for, for interview time. Oh, okay, okay. So the midpoint interview is just going to be like three minutes of you slowly doing a snap, and that'll be it. Okay, well, I mean, hey, at least you have a warning. So... <laughs> Uh, what do you think of the map choice in your competition today? I don't think the map choice is very conducive to festivals. I, I think it's more... This is a beautiful map, but I don't think it fits the theme very well. Um, That's fair. But well, the reasoning it behind it was it has a lot of different build zones because you've got kind of the primary area where they seem to want you to build. You've got down by the water. You've got kind of tucked away in the mountains on the left and the right. So I feel like there's just a lot of different options if you want to do something seaside, mountainside, any of that stuff. And that's kind of, that was kind of the idea behind it. Just give people the, I guess, the variety that they might want. But okay. as far as your competition, uh, what do you think of it? You've got Early Rave, you've got Cyber Scythe, you've got Night Morphus. Uh, I'm going to be second place regardless, and good luck to the rest of them for first. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I mean, hey, that, if you want to do that to yourself, that's great. So, that's what I do. 
As far as your build style, so what can we expect to see as far as the overall build style today? I'm going to be building an apple, a city that's known for its apple tree festival. You're going to come here and Ooh. have an apple festival. It's going to be a small town. You're going to have a little concentrated area here of businesses. You're going to have a farmer's market over here in the corner, and then you're going to have a giant apple orchard. And there's a little trick up my sleeve for later. Ooh, I like that. That actually reminds me there is a... Uh... There's a festival kind of like at my home city of Springfield, Missouri called Apple Cider Days. And it's literally, it's not about apples, but it's about ap apple cider. And it mm -hmm. was a huge thing. It's like, it's not quite a week long. It's like a four or five day long thing. And it was a yearly event. It's a huge thing. Obviously this year, I don't think they had it for obvious reasons, but it was always a big old grand time. And I'm going to kind of look for some of those cues in this. And we'll have to see if those come to fruition. Go for it, man. I look awesome. forward to it. And folks, again, this is twitch.tv slash uh, the mighty eternal second, and we're going to wish him the best and be sure to head on over and cheer him on. Thank best you, of man. luck, my friend. Thank you, sir. All right. And with that, I have checked in with each of our contestants. We got some stuff to discuss and chat potentially here. Uh, a bit bigger than the normal size square of an intersection. Indeed. Oh, they look so sweet next to each other. Oh, Toronto for a second. Somerset. Apple concentrate? Maybe a uh, fruition. Ah, fruition. Ah, I got it. Fruition. So, uh, let's talk about that. I do want to talk a little bit because I noticed that as we were talking with Cyber, so let's go ahead and zoom in on Cyber. This is going to be a real talk moment. Host to chat as we uh, get ready to get Kitty Claude to start the first giveaway. So, what do we think of using pre built intersections that are basically road layouts it wasn't really an intersection it was kind of road layouts because it seems like we've got some interesting ideas in chat of whether or not that qualifies so i want to hear from you chat what do you think of that you make a mean caramel apple teeny nice it is more than just an intersection it is city layout it definitely seemed city layout i mean it, it qualified as an intersection on the workshop so that's the part that makes it tricky. Now, should we maybe look into that? Because technically the rule is against using move it to import something like that. I just had a glance at the rules and no more technically broken. I personally think that the rules need an update. Yep, we might need to update the rules for that. Man, it's just roads, not buildings. Right. Personally, I think it's very against the spirit. Bass forms and shit from Mengsi Rose. It's a valid tactic and I use it, but maybe a future rule change. Yeah, we'll go ahead and update the rules, I think, for that. I thought you were supposed to build your city from scratch. He's got an entire city layout right there. Yeah, and that's I think that's what we're talking about. Because we've always talked about move it being a thing. And actually, if someone can, if I could get a super secret researcher to do a little bit of research on the workshop for me, uh, is that a publicly available road layout? Because if it's not a publicly available road layout, then we can look into that. But if it is publicly available and has been for... The, at least 24 hours before the competition started, then we're just going to have to do a rule change and accept that it's there. There we go. Not in the spirit of CIS, in my opinion. And I, I, that's what I'm tempted to agree on, so I think we need a rule change. <laughs> I think he'll get stung in the chat vote here. Maybe. Maybe. Pumpkinhead has used it, I believe. Maybe. There we go. Yeah, we'll have to upgrade the rules a little bit. So if a moderator or someone else would message me, I will be sure that we get that in today because that rule change probably needs to happen pronto. I mean, there are roads of the city layout in the workshop, so hard to narrow it down. Right. It's very likely that's just available on the workshop. I will ask for verification once it is all set and done. There we go. I'll just ask him to send me the link to what he used. And no big deal. And it's easy to do now with the Cuboid Picker mod. Well, it's got Shallow City Grid, Tram Snowfall. Gotcha. So at least one of them is openly available in the workshop. So what we're going to do then is we will likely see a brief... We'll probably see an addendum to the rules to address that. And that is exactly why we have rules addendums, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to think of all this stuff ahead of time. Who doesn't work on intersection? Sorry. Oh, that's right. Oh, darn it. Not exactly a clear line between road layout and intersection. Right. Because the thing is, you can't even do it by size. Because if you do it by size, you've got things like, you know, the spaghetti junction. 
that is just like gigantonormous. It's got a million different exits, so it's going to naturally be big. So maybe it needs to be limited to a certain amount of actual roads. So maybe they're just, I don't know. We'll have to work on a wording for that rule. Because I don't want to sit there and say, oh, you have to verify all intersections with cash from ahead of time. Because, dude, that's a lot of extra rules. <laughs> it's a lot of extra time and effort. So for today, I think this passes for today. I do think this passes for today, but this does merit a look at the rules. And yeah, I think it is against the spirit of the competition. But as Gareth has pointed out, he did not technically break any rules. There you go. Narrow it down to just intersections, not city layout. Right, but then at what point is it an intersection, not a road layout? Because you have to keep mind ship. If I have an intersection that has like a couple of service roads on the side, I think that's still an intersection. But what about a second road on the side? Then is it still just an intersection? At what point does it become a layout and not just kind of the trimmings of an intersection? That's my personal thing right there. And then Mighty O with the sub. Can we get some hype in chat for Mighty O resubbing, helping support the event? Thank you so much. And also a special shout out to our patrons over on Patreon. Be sure to join the Patreon today if you want to see this event continue and you want to see this event continue to grow and flourish and do amazing things. Also, a couple of quick things. Uh, Cities and Snap upgrades do happen and they do things such as this. Fresh lighting setup, thanks to the patrons and subs and all of that. You'll notice that the lighting's a lot more balanced. I don't look like I'm half invisible anymore, and I think that's always a good thing. So thank you to everyone who helps make that stuff happen. And of course, also thank you to everyone who helps make it happen for other things, such as allowing me the time to work on overlays such as this new host icon down here, the new tags on the bottom left that you see for each individual player, Things like that, they do take a little bit of time to develop. And thank you to those who help support us so that we can get that stuff developed. There we go. It's a tough rule to define. Perhaps no workshop intersections at all. Alternatively, just allow this. Right. If too many of the roads are zonable, that's not an intersection. True. That could be reasonable, Cute Boy. An intersection might validly be zoned roads other than highways. Exactly, Griffin. The lighting looks great, guys. It does. It feels great. It's still a little on the bright side. I still need to tweak it a little bit, but it's okay. Because basically, I should be like four shades darker than this. Like four granular shades darker. So it's still a little on the spoopy side, so I still need to balance it a little bit, but it's looking better. Gavin DM, we'll check it out. Just no import from Move It would work. Intersections from Workshop will be fine. Well, that's, that's an intersection, technically, from the Workshop ship. That's the problem. And I think that is against the spirit of the competition, because we have the Move It restrictions in there. You guys see, this is a pretty bright game, so you show up well against it. <laughs> that's true, I do. There we go. And then the participants are there. Beautiful. All right, and let me check the DM from over here. We've got multiple DMs coming in. There we go. There we go. All right, that looks good. All right, that looks pretty good. And thank you, Brainless, for that. There we go. Oh, that's a good idea. No more than one zone rule in an asset. Maybe. An intersection shouldn't be bigger than what the game's asset editor square should be, or at least nearly the size. That'd be hard for me to quantify, though. We'll work on a way to quantify that. Either way, Cyber Scythe is fine. Cyberside is fine. There's nothing bad about what he did. So it's all good. We're all perfectly fine here. Let's actually check out some other folks. I think it's important to say, though, that it's not against current rules. So please don't hold this against him in that manner. However, that'd be something you can weigh in the rubric as drag down things, such as details, uniqueness, or beauty. Yeah, exactly. So don't hold it against him. Don't. Nobody go hold torches. Like, this, honestly, you should be holding torches to me because I'm the moron that didn't uh, think of that in the rules. There we go. The intersection shouldn't be bigger than true. Oh, yeah. Whatever the outcome, you shouldn't be penalized at all. Yeah, this is exactly. This is just for future discussion. Yeah, this isn't talking about this thing right here. Like, he's not losing any points because of that. Because, again, no rules were broken. Doesn't affect anything. At least not on my rubric. There we go. Kaz, derp. yeah, exactly. I blame Kaz, exactly. Everyone blame Kaz. Wait, why am I agreeing to blame Kaz? Don't blame Kaz. Blame Morphus. Because we're watching him instead right now. <laughs> so, I first of all, what do you think of the different ideas we have? So we've got Morphus going for a more Christmassy thing, which it's interesting that he didn't choose 
more of a snowfall type theme. So that's a little interesting, but I like Toronto's apple festival thing. I think that's a really unique thing. I didn't expect to see something like that. Uh, Cybers, I think is going to look pretty good. And then early rave mentioned the sports ball. And I kind of like the idea of that, especially since if you look at early raves, he's actually got a lot of fall colors. So I'm thinking maybe a big homecoming game. What if it's the first game of football season for the fall? What if it's, I don't know, it, it's a little too colorful to be Super Bowl because the Super Bowl is much more dead outside, so it wouldn't be that. But I'm thinking like maybe it's like the fall homecoming game for some local college. That could be interesting. Hello, City Peace. What's up, Suski? I got Grandpa and thought it was just me. I blame Kaz for everything. It's true. Kaz, lose chat vote now. Wait, I'm going to lose chat vote now, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh ship what am i gonna do with you what am i going to do with you other than love you so let's see here kitty claw do we have a giveaway running do we have a giveaway running i don't know if we have a giveaway running that's why i have to ask kitty claude so i'm not allowed to know these things there we go christmas is not so ever true but man he's in the northern hemisphere so it's got to be snowy for christmas Otherwise, the Andre of White Christmas thing just goes to waste. Now we do. Nice! And this one is for surviving the aftermath. Yay! It's okay. You make out the points in the rubric at the end. Yay! <laughs> Gashem looks different. That's right. I don't look like I'm disappearing and phasing out anymore. Because we have more balanced lighting. Thanks to the patrons. Thanks to the Patreon supporters. Thanks to the subscribers, etc. We were able to get some lighting upgrades for cities in a snap. There you go. The rules are changed. Then it'll have to be called the Cyber Engine. <laughs> there we go. Be sure to enter this giveaway for Surviving the Aftermath. A great game. Still in early access, but a wonderful game uh, from Paradox Interactive and Ice Flake Studios. It's a great game. Absolutely marvelous. Those that are on the Kaz streams know that I've been streaming it uh, a little bit lately, and it is super fun. It's an absolute blast. Kaz, you might want to turn down your RTX voice slider, but you're clipping when you're very excited. I'm clipping a little bit. Interesting. Let's go ahead and scale that back just a wee bit. There we go. Let's see how that goes. There we go. Again, sorry, Gareth. Big audio issues today. <laughs> I've got them mostly neutralized, but yeah, still got a few of the tweaking things. There we go. If Just Me wins this giveaway, I'll riot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Is Just Me even here today? There we go. Gareth, he's always very excited. It's true, I am always very excited. There we go. So again, this is going to be for a Steam Key giveaway because it's available on Steam now. There we go. And this will be available to whoever wins. And again, you can win it and choose to give it away. You can use it for yourself. You can do any of that stuff. You just got to let me know. There we go. And of course, at the end of this, once you win, if you win, be sure to message me directly and I will get you your key. Good point. Well presented, Minxy. He's always very excited. It's true. Very true. Just me is not in chat. I still find it possible that they win. <laughs> Honestly, they might still win. They really might still take it. Wouldn't that be hilarious? It would be hilarious. Just, just me manages to go. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you guys something. This is actually really hilarious. This is totally beside the competition right now. But uh, I decided I don't remember what the situation is. But I just, like, did a Kappa entry. Just, like, I literally did, like, enter Kappa on a giveaway that someone was running after Cities on a Snap. Like, it was, like, eight months or so or something like that. Like, it was really early on in this iteration of Cities on a Snap. And I literally did a Kappa entry as they were closing, thinking that I had missed the deadline. Not only did I manage to enter right before the deadline entered, but I won with, like, a 0.5 chance of winning. It was really hilarious. <laughs> like, I did a complete Kappa entry just because I was like, haha, I never win things. And it was just like, oh, well, that didn't work out. <laughs> Floof! That's right, the floof. Is he excited or does he just need to go for a wee? Speaking quick so he can go. Always, Slim. Always. I always have to pee. That's my secret. There you go. That'd be my luck there. I know, right? I want to try starting the after that to see if I can play it. I'm trying to think think i think you could probably do it tex i think you could definitely do it just uh you wouldn't be able to do it on like max speed like i do sometimes but i think you should be able to 
with uh, how because how of how I know you interface with city skylines, I think you should be able to handle surviving the aftermath just as fine. Now again, I don't know, but I have a strong suspicion you'll be able to. And you'd like some of the detailing stuff you can do later on. So you can do things like plant bushes, make pretty roads, add some torches and lamp lights. A little of both, maybe. There we go. Ah, oh, beautiful. I can never get these looking good within an hour. Dude, Sweetsy, I bet you could. You just gotta try. You gotta apply yourself. And honestly, just go check out the YouTube channel if you want to see some inspiration, folks. Because remember, we have a YouTube channel that has all of our previous events, or at least all of the recent previous events, uploaded there. Uh, WB Tuba Kid works on that, that guy with the tuba. He works on it. Uh, he uploads those typically sometime around midweek. So you can see all of our previous content over there. And it's really great that it's over there because that way, if you ever want to see, okay, how do people do industries? You can look back and look back at all of the archives of everything that we're starting to post over there. So be sure to go check out that YouTube channel. Been watching you and it looks so good. I know, right? So what that game? That game is amazing. Does that mean you can all make it all perfect and beautiful? You can make it perfect and beautiful. Want this game so bad? It's so good! Don't watch my attempt at CIS. I forgot the detail, apparently. <laughs> you did, Gareth, but it's okay. It's more than okay. And Akaska has decided to join me here in the Citizen Snap office. What map is this? They are currently on Elena Falls. Uh, not available via the map command, because I derped. Let me go ahead and get that updated. Polyphony, edit, map. And let me go ahead and grab the link for you guys. I do apologize again. Uh, we had some technical issues earlier on, but let me go ahead and get this on in to update it. Edit map, Ellen uh, Falls on the Steam Workshop. And boom. That's where he went. Yep, Early Rave with the detailing. I love it. Let's go ahead and check out some detailing from Early Rave. There we go. So uh, let's see our pumpkin and uh, dope gnomes. Be sure to go to the exclamation mark map command that is now updated. Again, it's Elena Falls on the workshop. This is actually version one. Version two I has a few things I don't quite like about it as far as its requirements, which is why we aren't using version two, even though version two is overall quite good. But version one is just as good. And it doesn't require nearly as much ins and outs as far as the actual assets go. And yes, Gareth, hashtag blame casual. And speaking of which, how is everyone's bingo going? Be sure to use exclamation mark bingo to grab your bingo card for today's event. And be sure to fill it out as you go. It's a fun little game we play as we watch others play games that we enjoy. Is he doing a marathon? A marathon is who doing a marathon? Honestly, maybe. I feel like he could be doing a marathon. That's actually a really good point. In fact, it's looking increasingly like a marathon yeah i bet he's doing a marathon that's actually really creative i like that i really really like that as someone who i used to work a marathon every year as part of a service thing for my church uh, because my church was kind of like a centerpiece in the marathon for my home city so basically like we were just close enough to a lot of the big bends that we ended up occupying over half of the like kind of stop not really stops but of the booths along the way so it was like it was actually kind of cool so this is actually speaking right to my heart <laughs> now one thing that's a little interesting is i wonder if he's going to be able to get in crowds like get some cheering crowds things like that i think that could be really cool if he manages to do that but again that's going to depend entirely on his creativity and if he can mimic that by the way it's an awesome idea Maybe a rally. It kind of looks, because again, he's going down the street. I think it's going to be more of a marathon. And he hinted sports, athletics, things like that. It's going to be Thanksgiving parade feels. Maybe. Or a rally. I don't think it's a rally. No. Oh, yeah. Wow. I know, right? But yeah, I think that's what he's doing. And I think it's actually working pretty well. Right, guys, what do you think? Is it rally or marathon? I'm voting marathon. What do you think in chat? Rallying is a sport. Wait, is it a sport? <laughs> I don't think it's a sport, Gareth. I don't think you understand how sports work. Parade or marathon route? I'm thinking marathon, because if it were a parade, it would go only on the main... Or if it were... Yeah, if it were a parade, it would go mainly on the main streets, I think. And plus that end gate right there. That end gate is perfect for a marathon. I'm going Bounty Dark Chocolate Bar. Oh, you are? Parade? No, it wouldn't. He said sports, though, and I'm thinking marathon is the solution here. 
Rally, they just had new rally cars as buses on the workshop two weeks ago. Wait, rally? I was thinking, like, a rally where, like, someone talks. What are you talking about with, like, sports ball rallies? They got, I was in May parades. They use back roads. Interesting. It won't be a marathon. Maybe a Snickers? Oh, I, I got what you're saying there, Slim. You're making a joke there. So it is saying rally. Okay, so that's interesting. Rally road race. I don't know what that is, but it sounds legitimate, so I'll allow it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out what some of these other folks are up to. Let's go ahead and check out Morphus. We haven't checked him out much. Oh, he's searching for Rally. Yeah, so I think maybe it is Rally, I guess. I don't know what Rally cars are, but apparently we're doing it. So Night Morphus over here. He's got like a little shopping area. I like that a lot. He's got another very small, small town vibe there. And I think that's interesting. It looks like we've got a larger city with Cyberscythe. Then we've got kind of a medium town with Early Wave. And then we've got Taradra and Morphus working on smaller towns. And I like that difference here. Because keep in mind, you don't necessarily have to have a huge population to be able to have good festivities. Sometimes people come in from the whole region and pilot on a little tiny town because of a certain festival that has a lot of history to it. So I think that this could prove to be very interesting. How you know, rallying is catch him. I, I don't know. <laughs> you race cars. I, I don't know. And I can talk as much as Kaz. I'm speechless. <laughs> Give away to like the idea, but he banned all vehicles on that road. Ooh, rally is basically off-road and or small car racing. Except for feeding Q in the basement, Kaz never gets out of his office. It's true. You expect Kaz to know those sports? Oh, come on. I know some sports. I know about the, uh, the, the baseballs. And, like, the footballs and, like, the basketballs. I, I know about them. I know how you, like, score touchdowns and field goals and, like, you, like, kick a goal in soccer and, like, you can get, like, three-pointers in uh, basketball and home runs in baseball. See, I know things. It's like motocross but for cars. Interesting. He sometimes feeds brainless, too. Well, see, that is more dependent on Brainless and Cuboy. It depends who wants the food more. Because I don't think I've ever seen them share the can of beans I kicked down there. But it's always gone afterwards. And sometimes one of them complains that they haven't been fed. And I suspect that's when the other one has been selfish with that said can of beans. Minxie you might have something in mind for that. Like adding a loop of invisible roads for the actually right road. Ooh, that would actually be interesting, what Cuboy just mentioned. Because... It's kind of like a trick that a lot of people have started using for, like, road construction. To, like, you kind of merge into the other side of the road to merge out. People have blocked traffic, and then you lay an invisible road on top of it that kind of swerves out and swerves back in. And then it gives the idea of traffic redirecting where it's not supposed to go. And he could do something similar with the rally route here, and I'm curious if he manages to pull it off. Gareth, not really. How can the cows look when demonstrating basketball? Gareth, not really. Aw. <laughs> to be fair, he's never played baseball, so he was guessing. I do. I have played basketball. Not bas- uh, What was that thing? Baseball. I have played baseball for like one season in third grade. And Luca with the raiding party. Come Raiders. Welcome in, Luca and Raiders. Hope you're all having a beautiful day. Cities and Snap Day can't be any better, but... Speaking of Cities and Snap, I want you all to check out this here schedule of upcoming events. This schedule of upcoming events it includes today, Festivities in a Snap. Next week, Festivities in a Snap. November 21st, The Beatles. And then November 28th, No Cities in a Snap. Again, November 28th, No Cities in a Snap. And Cowboy with the gifts up to Brainless. High five. Can we get some love in chat? For a Cuboid gifting something to the channel. Thank you so much for your support of the event. It really means a lot. And also, quick shout out to all of our moderators just for being so awesome. Get the hype rolling in chat. Or any sport other than swimming. I know swimming very well. There we go. And Brainless, seven months in a row. Jeez, what a guy. Get the hype rolling in chat for Cuboid and for Brainless. November 20th equals sad times. I know, but it's a holiday weekend, and me and Kyle's wife, we're just going to be chilling. Just us. It'll be perfect and beautiful. And we're going to be making up for it, because the week after that is the All-Stars event for Cities in a Snap. More details on that to come, but it's going to be absolutely great. And then Brainless and I are working on that thing happening on December 19th. You see that? A charity event where you're going to be able to rain destruction on your favorite streamer's cities. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. You're going to be making your favorite streamers miserable 
a good cause, so don't miss out on that. Well, holiday is it Thanksgiving? Yes, sweetie, that is Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, Kaz's wife and I aren't traveling, but we're just taking a little bit of time for us because keep in mind we only really get Sundays together, so we're taking that whole holiday weekend uh, to ourselves, just to have some time and all of that. Because really, we only get Sundays right now because she works Monday through Friday. I have off Friday, but it's more of an admin day, and then, like, Saturday is cities and snap most of the day, so, yeah. Kind of weird. Make sure those I have, at least the ones that Kaz doesn't confiscate. Wait, what? Watching CAS from the middle of Times Square, where there are many things happening, but watching Taraja come in second place for the millionth time is hype. True, there's a lot of stuff happening in Times Square right now. There we go, and then, what makes he say to you? Brinksy, what'd you say to Brainless there? I don't know what makes he said. Oh. Kaz Gem, my hometown has a festival every two years. People come from all over the UK, and there's nowhere to park. Got it. There we go. And Brand Society, have you at least been receiving my coffee deliveries? Uh, nope. There we go. I confiscate the ones I can find, and I put them into the coffee drip, because it's just a more efficient way. Because, see, if I actually hand off the packages to Brainless, he started MacGyvering ways to escape from the basement using the coffee package but if i distill it myself and put it in the coffee drip then he can't do that so it's just safer it's more secure because we can't have him running amok among society again there we go like couples need time together i know right hope you guys have an awesome weekend that weekend treat yourselves an absolute time we'll we'll try we'll mostly be staying around here because uh we're uh, leaving the house right now is a bad idea <laughs> that's all i'll say there we go and then jbs i got an irl friend as well right now she's been posting videos oh i bet one of these days. I know, right? But folks, be sure to enter that giveaway for surviving the aftermath. And that'll be closing out here in about 10 minutes, folks. You've got 10 minutes to enter the giveaway for surviving the aftermath. And if you're curious whether or not you like that game, be sure to you can go and check out my personal YouTube channel where I have a few getting started videos. The next one comes out on Monday. It was supposed to come out earlier this week, but lots of stuff has been happening. It's been a very busy time, as a lot of people have seen. And yeah, it's great. It's a wonderful game. I recommend you try it out. There we go. And then, yep. Ah, oh, it's Rally Cars. And it does seem like it's going to be Rally Cars. So everyone who said Rally Cars, that is great. And as to Minx Heroes and Keyboard's comments, I do think that he's going to be placing the invisible roads to mark the exact pathing because that way he has more control over things like say banking a curve things like that that'll make it a little bit more dynamic and interesting as opposed to them being perfectly in the middle of every road there we go so let's go ahead and check out a little bit more i want to check in on taradra's build because taradra's been doing some interesting things down here he's got a rail that actually follows along the dam, which I think is great. I actually have been maintaining that we need a railway dam at some point. I think a railway dam would be super duper ripe. I don't know why that's not a thing, but I think it would be great. I also want to see an avenue one at some point, but uh, we can wish. We can wish all we want. And a huge concert. Exciting. Yeah, a huge concert. Always exciting. So, Taradra laying out a little bit of an industrial area. And again, he's going for that small town vibe. So, again, maybe he's saying, hey, this is where all the industry is that comes from the apple orchard. This is where we make our applesauce and, oh, no, apple jacks and, like, process them into little meal kits for kids and do all that stuff. Make apple wedges from McDonald's. All that kind of stuff. You could make a railway dam. Just use your favorite move it trick. Well, yeah, we could do that, but I want one in base game. I want one in base game because you know the move a trick 100% works for that. But I want I want one in base game. I think that would be really hype. There you go. There is a railway dam in the workshop. There is, but it's really janky. I've tried it before, and it's just like it kind of like lets water out in weird spots, Ignis, and I don't really know why. It just it doesn't line up right. And maybe it was user error. It full well could have been user error. Let's be honest. Go ahead, please have a link, Ignis. Yeah, go ahead and share that link, Ignis. Share the link. Be known as the man who shared with us the glory of a railway dam. So let's go ahead and back on out. And I want to actually check in with Cyber again. Because Cyber's been up to some pretty good stuff. But he's dealing with some employment issues. So we're going to have to see if he gets that employment issue down. Because again, unemployment and all that and lack of jobs isn't technically a rubric slot in the rubric. But... It is something that can affect the chat vote significantly. Because the chat vote, you guys seem to really care about that stuff. Because if someone has a lot of need for workers, it's just like, oh, dude, you don't have a real city sometimes. But I think it looks great what he has. 
I love the road pack he's using. It's part of the new US road system that's been on the workshop for, I want to say, about two and a half months. That uh, specific set. No, it may be like more like closer to two months straight. But it's been on the workshop for a little bit now. And in, they're a really good set of roads. Really neat. And plus, they use the right road signs, which is always very hype. From Ignis. There we go. Thank you, Cuboid. Oh, did Polyphony smack you down, Ignis? I'm sorry, Ignis. It's okay. We still love you, and that's all that matters, right? Ah. So let's go ahead and pull this on in. And remember, folks, you got just five minutes to enter for surviving the aftermath in the giveaway. And again, this giveaway is actually sponsored by Cities in a Snap. And remember, folks, most of our giveaways are actually sponsored by the community. So I want everyone to thank people that have given things to the community for these giveaways. Because it's all to thank you all for being here, being splendiferous, and helping support the event. Here we go. Casham, no, it's the new North American freeway from Grey Flame. Uh, no, I'm talking about the actual roads. This isn't freeway. This is just the normal roads. Because I saw the North American Freeway, but I'm talking about the roads roads. They're like the ones that I can see right here. There we go. I don't think those are called freeway. I'm pretty sure they're just U.S. large roads, if I recall correctly. There we go. Thanks, Donators. Exactly. And thank you for the follow there, Simone Pavano. Welcome to the Season Snap community. There we go. And be sure to ask any questions you may have. And remember, folks, next week we're doing more festivities than a snap. We're going to have four more humans competing to build the best city with festivities they can in just two hours' time. It's going to be beautiful and amazing. And then the week after that is going to be the finals. And it's going to be splendid. I can't wait to get that going. There you go. That North American Freeway pack looks great. But, by the way, great fun. It was really awesome. Awesome creator. Yeah, she had new roads today. Oh, she did. Interesting. So, wait, are the then have these roads been publicly available for a while? That's my next question, then. I believe they have been, then, if they're a beta. There we go. Be sure to get your tickets, folks. Thanks, donators, indeed. There we go. So let's go ahead and act out squadrons. And let's just see the scope of what's happening here. We've got more of the rally race route happening over here on Early Rave. And it does look like, yeah, you've got the starting area, you've got the ending area. It looks like they got the food trucks and all that. That's actually really good. So this could be really interesting, seeing them line up. But it does look like it's going to be fake. Oh, no, they're not going to be running around. Yeah, check it out. He's got them parked over here. Oh, rip. I was really hoping that we would see them just let loose and race through the area. But you know what? I still think it's a pretty cool thing. There you go. Yes, since the fourth. Okay, that's good then. Yes, think a few days ago she released them. Well, there you go. That should be fine, then. That's more than fine. I just wanted to double check for obvious reasons. There we go. But yeah, that's awesome. I'll have to check them out. I haven't been on the workshop or any of that the past few days. Because I've been working on a lot of these weird, tiny graphics overhauls. And setting up the new lighting. So I've spent a lot of time with that stuff. But I have seen that a lot of people have been talking about some new uploads to the workshop. That I'm really hyped to dive into. She released more today if I don't see any of those being used. Well, that's good, Q-Boy. That is good. And we will have to double check on that. But uh, right now, ooh, also what Cyber is doing there in the middle. I want to zoom back in. And also, I want to zoom back in because I love that central plaza he's got around that kind of more contemporary city hall building. And it's just something really fun to do because you have to think about it. A lot of people do just place their city halls just like smack somewhere. But a lot of these smaller towns, the city hall is a much more centralized feature. And even in larger towns, it's a centralized feature. It's an event. It's a place where you go and actually hang out. And I love seeing that here. It's such a great, great alternative to just sticking it in the middle of a row of buildings. And that's as someone who I'm very guilty of doing that. I have done that so much, it makes me cry. But it's great to see people not doing my same mistake. What? Casham has been on the workshop? I know, right? New lighting looks like it's doing its job, though. It is! Isn't it great? I still need to scale back a little bit because I should be more like this shade all around. Or like this shade all around. But yeah, it's... It's... It's 99.999% better. Like, it is really, really much better. And thank you everyone who helped make that possible by being part of the Patreon, doing things such as subscribing and gifting bits and all that stuff. All of that helps. There we go. Right? The workshop probably thinks he had an accident. Probably. Workshop sending a guy to his house to check if Kaz is okay. <laughs> you know, people made that joke about Papa John's at one point, too. Because I used to go to Papa John's so much. Alright, so. And in about two minutes time. 
for actually no one minute of time in one minute kitty clog will be drawing the winner for the first giveaway of the day surviving the aftermath provided by cities and snap itself be sure to enter if you want it i know it's going to be great and i bet you all will enjoy it. it's going to be perfect and beautiful and amazing be sure to enter and remember it'll get a steam key that you can use either yourself or you can give on to someone else you can do whatever you want with it and for that you'll go ahead and message me once you have one if you want to get the key from Kaz, Kitty Claude wants no responsibility, folks. No responsibility. She's trusting me with this one, folks. She's trusting me. I feel like I am growing up because Kitty Claude actually trusts me with the giveaway right now. Kaz no longer looks like an Oompa Loompa. Jobs are good enough. Oh, my goodness. Oh, enter. There we go. All right, you got it. You Sherming Cereals? Oh, come on. You didn't give me the key. Oh, yeah, it's true. Well, maybe I'm the reason why she trusts me. <laughs> All right. And, ooh, Black Ghost, uh, where are you trying to figure out, my friend? You're going to have to let me know what you're trying to figure out. And let's see who won the giveaway. All right. Let's see who won that giveaway. Can we get a drum roll in chat? And Cybex Streams has won the giveaway. Congratulations, Cybex. Hit me up on the back end. We will get you your key to surviving the aftermath rigged oh it's obviously rigged i mean he paid me like he paid me this bag of sour patch kids oh my goodness you can't see the bag of sour patch kids <laughs> oh my goodness congrats sour streams indeed rigged indeed i know right it's always rigged it's all so rigged uh in philadelphia city hall is the absolute heart of the city it's like that in a lot of areas like one of the most beautiful city hall setups i've seen is actually denton texas and it's really great because i was down there one time and i've been down there several other times but one time in particular i was there for the international uh computer music associations uh event like they were having their conference there and i was having peace played i was hanging out there it was a great time and they took that whole town square there around city hall and they had tents they had vendors they had drinks they had food it was really really great so much fun and they had like actual ambient electronic music pieces that were submitted to the conference being played throughout the night there it was just oh it was such a party it was great so it was only like two blocks away from ut denton so it was a perfect place to have all that stuff Next giveaway is from Adventures of AJ, a Sunset Harbor Steam Key. Nice. Very, very nice. So, Black Ghost, what were you trying to find out with the DLC command? Very curious what you were trying to find out. There we go. And let's go ahead and get the Sunset Harbor giveaway underway. Looks like a funicular system. It is a funicular system. Oh, is he doing the funicular system? Let's go ahead and double check that. There we go. All right, and the giveaway is live. Be sure to enter that giveaway if you want a shot at it. And again, this is from Adventures of AJ. Thank you, AJ, for helping Cities in a Snap. And the community. The community thanks you. I was trying to enter contest. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's just uh, exclamation mark, enter, exclamation mark, ticket. Either way. There we go. Well, I'm glad that uh, you figured it out. Unfortunately, figured out a little too late, Black Ghost. But hopefully you have a chance at winning this next one, Sunset Harbor. It'll be absolutely great. That's a funny look on Morphus' screen. Yeah, it kind of is. Let's check that out, too. There we go. And we're actually nearing that little important halfway point. So, folks, uh, do we have anyone that we're starting to like? Do we have anything that we are kind of think is a good idea? Or is it more just we've got to see more data? Right now, I think we're at the stage where me personally, I think we need more data. Because... I'm seeing good stuff all around. I'm liking the small town field, Taradra. I'm liking the funicular system that I'm seeing right here. And then I also love the city feeling of Cyberscythe. But then again, early rave with the rally racing, I think that's a really unique and fun idea. So we've got a lot of great things happening here. Nobody has blimps, so I like no one. <laughs> Cash, it was the derp of mine. You said no DLC. I was trying to enter. But my head was still on that DLC, so I got word confused and Black Ghost followed my derpiness. Ah, so hashtag blame Luca. Got it. There we go. No why festivities. It's like October. It can be whatever festivities you want. It can be fall activities. It can be Christmas. It can be Easter. It could be 4th of July. It could be, I don't know, uh, whatever holidays they have. It could be Canadian Thanksgiving. Like, it can be anything you want. That is that why we kept it relatively broad. Just anything you want to celebrate. Festivities and a snap. That's what it's all about. There we go. Man, same thing. Oh, come on. There we go. It is November. It could be bonfire. Exactly. It could be bonfire night. 
I gotta accept it's November. You can do whatever festivities you want, Slim, and we'll just do something special with it later. <laughs> Dramatic rituals are festivities too. I mean, you're not wrong, Ignis, but I'm also concerned for you now. I is back, went away for five minutes, and you draw and get a tweet notification. Yeah! To get the hype rolling in chat, Cybex, you finally get to try the legendary surviving the aftermath game. It's gonna be great, and if you need to get in starting guide, getting started guide, I know a guy who you can hit up. There you go. Or World Pacer Appreciation Day. Wait, what? <laughs> I would celebrate the man, myth, legend that is Nicolas Cage. Oh no. Howdy to everyone. What's up, Headley Monorails? Hope you're doing well. It could be I said for too. I don't know what that means. You're welcome, Cybex. Indeed. Because all hail the Twitter. And all hail Cow's Wife for running the Twitter. There we go. And also, folks, we have some merch coming in. Uh, I'm going to be chatting with our merch designer. And we're going to be making some announcements hopefully soon. We're hoping to have something together this week to show you guys. But we're going to be putting that off just a little bit longer. And be sure to tune in for that. It's going to be absolutely great. I'm hoping that we have that available for you tomorrow. Not tomorrow, next week. But be sure to stay tuned to the Discord and Twitter for information regarding some new merch coming out. Doing very well. Glad you're doing well. Can't wait to play. Gonna have to check out Cash Gym Stream Guide. That's right. The Steam Guide, not Stream Guide. Ooh, who's the merch designer? Uh, I don't know if I confirmed with him that we are going to announce his name yet. But uh, he's very excited about it. He's going to do a great job. And we've already discussed all the details and whatnot. And it's going to be perfect and beautiful. And also, a quick plug, Arino. If you are interested in the game Surviving the Aftermath, uh, you can check out my Steam Guide. You can also check out my YouTube Getting Started series. Or, if you want to see more uh cities city skylines or any of survival or simulation type games eu4 things like that be sure to check out my personal streams twitch.tv slash cash gym monday through thursday great time for all they go ooh merch is this jank shirts <laughs> i mean kind of there we go there we go we'll be sure to announce that whenever we can luca but we're nearing that halfway point and again right now we have four very different ideas i don't know if we even have remotely similar <laughs> we've got a big apple and it's even got like that little cartoon little shine on the edge of it i love it that's absolutely great that's a great little touch since when has Cass had a personal stream i know right steam guide i've got your stream guide already that's why i derp so much i know right there you go i've got some cool ideas i'm hoping don't get taken for festivities should be super fun everyone be sure to steal cybex's ideas i'll sell them to you for a dollar oh he's making it a green apple instead of a red apple oh man speaking of apples what's your favorite type of apple folks green red hmm what's your favorite why an apple specifically because he's doing an apple festival luca He's doing an apple festival. It's going to be perfect and beautiful. And he's saying that's just something that, like, the town is known for this apple festival. It's a speck of dust on the map for the most part. But when it comes to this apple festival, everyone floods in. Everyone basically worships the apples. Enjoying a Victor Cigar and a Two Finger Bourbon. Well, there you go, Headley Monorails. Glad you're having a good day. Not sure what you're having a good day over, but uh, congratulations. Wherever it is. Ooh, nice. I like black holes because I can feed them to Luca. Wait, what? <laughs> Cybex Streams. Pirate Day? Yes, Pirate Day. Pink Lady? Maybe. Are you next weekend, Cybex? He is next weekend. There you go. It's Cupertino. It's true. All hail apples. True. There we go. Pirate Day? Nope. Enjoying. There we go. Green. Ooh, green apples from Luca. Ugh. More of a red apple guy. Black apples equals rotten apples. No, I got that much. I got that much. And I appreciate that you want to give them to your alleged friend. Because, I mean, who doesn't give rotten apples and rotten food to their friends? There we go. I can finally watch them again. We aren't competing against each other. I know, right? Who'd have thunk? 50% zero in a pint. Wait, what? I don't know what's happening there. <laughs> All right. But we need to go ahead and get ready for some interviews. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in with that. We're going to start, of course, with participant number one, Early Rave. What's up, Early Rave? Hey, guys. Welcome in. Well, so you've got about an hour and two minutes left, so why don't you uh, take us on a journey? How are you feeling right now? It's going fine. I'm glad you say I've still got an hour left, so that gives me some time to finish up. It does. Now, as far as your overall build, I have to ask, so is it, are you going from, uh, well, I was going to ask, but I see the cars now. So you're going for a rally racing thing, which yes. Chad had to explain to me what it is. Because initially you started saying it, but I was like, oh, this looks like a marathon. It could totally be a marathon, and then... It could like, also oh, be a marathon, but, but then I found uh, the car, so... Well, hey, the cars work really well for it, and I do appreciate that. So, 
Uh, what's kind of the story for your town here? Is this like an annual thing? Is this a tour thing? Like, what's going on here? Well, this is like uh, the annual race that happens every year around uh, end of October normally. So, but with, during COVID, actually, it was sort of not going on. But in this town, there's no COVID anymore, so they can party as hell, as you can see. Nice. So. Now, as far as the actual, like, pacing, do you feel like you're on pace? Are you falling behind? Are you ahead? What's the story there? I think it's going fine. I'm pretty on schedule, in my opinion. At least I hope so, but I think the last five minutes will be stressful as, as usual, so... Oh, surely it won't be that stressful. I bet you've got it in the bag. I bet you got it in the bag. Now, as far as the actual like build style, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Definitely, I'm seeing lots of fall. I'm seeing yeah. a lot of kind of small town vibes, kind of carrying on your theme from last month. And this rally race, I also see that you've got kind of like a concert stage happening there. So is this yeah, something so that's like a multi-date? I mean, for someone that doesn't know rally racing, let's pretend for a moment that I don't know anything about it. Can you explain kind of what it's all about? Well, I'm not all about super in, in rally racing as well. I'm more of a Formula 1 guy, but still, I just like to... You can't really go with a Formula 1 car during the off-road, so... Gotcha. <laughs> So I've been told in chat that's kind of like off-road racing type thing, and it's like yes. be smaller cars. Is that right? Yes. Like you can see here, it's they going into the forest and then they are gonna end somewhere over else. But I have to finish up with that. So that's for the last interview. Nice. Gonna, well, we'll definitely have to tour. check that out. Now, something that's interesting here is uh, with these off-roading cars, you also have them going through the city, which I like that because. Too yes. often people are like, oh yeah, there's just this dedicated thing. No, man, you just you slap up some barriers and say, no, you can't go down this road for today. Now, yeah, so, that, that, so that's for the weekend, so they can't go there, so they have to park the car also somewhere. Yeah, exactly, or just like pull it all the way into the garage. You don't want to leave it on the curb that weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like so, when they started the thing, there were no houses here, so they usually use it at track, and now they have the houses here, sadly, so they, those people have the front row seats, as right, you can see then, right here. Something else I do love about your build is, again, carrying on that small town vibe. You've got that centralized town square with the church at one end, a yes. central train station at the other. I love that. And that is so perfect because it's actually something we talked about a couple months ago from Night Morphus because he explained that, yeah, a lot of smaller towns will have like a large concrete area in Europe because it's just there for like emergencies, things like that, and it's a lot of building codes. And I didn't realize that, but he was right. Like a lot of European towns in particular have that. And it turns out some American towns do too. Cause I always tend to think of like well-groomed, like beautiful green, like town square areas where I'm from. But it turns out that that's not necessarily universal. So are you basing this off of any one region or town layout? Or is this kind of from the heart? It's just from the heart and, and just from my mind to see it. I just like the view of the small town with a small open area in the middle and I like that. So, uh, final thing for you before I get out of your hair for a bit, because you've got a lot of building to go still, even though I really like what I see so far. Like, honestly, it looks like you're at the 90 minute mark, not the 60 minute mark. So, you're well, doing really my, well. <laughs> well, my opinion is still the 50 minute mark, but still. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? That's fair. That That's more than fair. And again, because outside of looking in, that's what I am right here. But, final thing for you. So, do you have any plans, anything big and grand that we should be looking for here in the back half? Uh, well, I still need to finish off with my uh, fitness area where they're gonna finish the cars. So that's something to look forward because I have something in my head, but I have to get it out of my head. So, okay, that's fair enough. So we'll be sure to look forward to that and see what you've got planned here. And folks, again, twitch.tv slash early rev as spelt there in the bottom left of your screen. And we'll be sure to check you out at the end interviews. How's that sound? Uh, that sounds perfect, man. All right, peace out, my friend. See you then. Now we're on to Cyber. What's up, Cyber Scythe? Scyther Scythe? Cyber Scythe. I know how to say your name, I promise. <laughs> so you've done great stuff. I love what I'm seeing. Everything from the town square to just the actual buildings you're yeah, using. Yeah, it's good now, right? Great stuff. So why don't there. you take us a little bit through it? I mean, do you feel like you're on pace? you got about 57 um, minutes left on this point. 57 minutes? Um, I feel like that's not too bad. Pretty happy about that. Halfway through, right? So yeah, pretty uh, pretty happy with my uh, town center. 
based on uh, Boston slash New York. I was kind of getting that vibe because again, so that's what it, I was like, going for, yeah. Kind of a nice mesh because it's got kind of the, I guess, the more strict gridded system of New York, but kind of more New York style buildings. But the colors and then the roads, things like that, definitely remind me more of kind of, I guess, more northern New England type area. So yeah, maybe exactly. Boston. Maybe even something like Portsmouth, something up there. There's lots of stuff up there that this reminds me of. So do you have a particular inspiration point or does it just happen to look like that for you? Um, well, I did, I did play it. I went through um, all the assets, you know, with uh, using theme theme builder. So I, I purposely chose all the um, all the buildings and all that to get that kind of uh, Brooklyn, Boston, New York kind of feel to it. It was the, uh, yeah, it was my plan to go for this kind of uh, style of city. Which nice. have, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely getting there. And then, yeah, changing the roads with uh, Road United mod to uh, American style roads. Give it more right. the uh, American kind of feel. And then, yeah, going for the uh, the bigger city and the uh, the city center, which is, yeah, kind of nice. all stuff so... that are kind of, uh... sorry, yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, you're fine. But I was about to ask, so, I mean, you've got a nice city, but what kind of festivities can we expect to see here? So that's what, uh, that's, the, that's what I'm working on now. I'm pretty happy with the city. I've got a couple more things I can uh, fill in, but that's that's pretty simple stuff. So yeah, we're going with a lot of the um, these kind of uh, market stores around the uh, around the place. And we've also got a lot of uh, food trucks as well, which, got, uh, which I'm going to be working on as well. And over on this side of the city, which I haven't uh, done much, we've got the uh, yeah more food trucks and we've got the uh, music festival that's happening for the uh, harvest, uh, autumn harvest. And then, yeah. Oh, whoa, I got... didn't even see that. I must have been looking at something whenever you built that. That is great. Yeah, and I still got, yeah, I still got to do all my uh, apple trees and all the uh, kind of vegetation and foliage. So that's what I'll be uh, working on probably now, the second half of my build. So, yeah, wow, I'm pretty, uh, looks... pretty happy how everything going. That looks great. I love that because that does look like a music fairgrounds area, and it's absolutely great. And it's great that you actually thought about having those side screens over on the left and right of the main stage because that's something that in an area that size you'd probably start to see the additional screens and obviously you know roadside you might even see a few but that's something that a lot of people get they just kind of plop the stage and they're just like can I have some crowds it's like you're not gonna be able to see the stage after a while like i mean those crowds exactly. go very deep and there's inevitably one or two tall people that just block everything for you so <laughs> you've got to watch out for that now as far as like the stalls and everything, so I guess you're kind of making this more about music and all that. So is this stuff that it's kind of all feeding into the music festival, or is this just the music festival is part of the general think, yeah. fall festivities? Yeah, the music festival is part of the uh, the autumn harvest. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna have a, I've got a few uh, hot air balloons as well around the uh, around the place. Nice. So it's, yeah, just um all little little all little things as part of the uh, autumn autumn harvest. But yeah, nice. obviously, once I get all the um, pumpkin crops growing and all the apple fields, then it'll look more harvest or look more, yeah, as though it's a agriculture kind of based. Um, right. Festival. I like that a lot. It's absolutely great. And I love the contrast there. I love the kind of newer developments that you see there that are kind of built right between the road and the rail and all that. It's a great feel. Now, the mm. final thing I'll leave for you. So any big tricks or things up your sleeve for the last half here last half um maybe maybe it's gonna um yeah gotta wait and find out i guess all right well we're gonna have to find out and folks again this is twitch.tv slash cyber scythe x be sure to check him out see if you like the build root for them and we'll be back with you later cyber for the end right, interviews thanks. all right and now we're on to participant number three Night Morphus. What's up, Night Morphus? Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, wait. Did I scare you? No. I didn't? Okay, good. I haven't scared anyone yet. All right, guys. You can't mark that on your bingo this week, it looks like. Strange. Oh, I know, right? So, we're going to just start time. used to it. I know, right? Hey, first time for everything. And one of these days, there will be a CIS without fires. So, anyways. Nah, it can't happen. <laughs> you say that it can't happen. happen. I don't know. So... As far as your build, uh, do you feel like you're on pace? Are you falling behind? Do you feel like you're doing really well? Where are you falling on that with about 52 minutes left? I don't have an idea. Really, I don't have an idea. <laughs> I, I have my idea that is doing pretty well, but I don't know if I'm falling far or not. Really, I don't know. 
strange, but it's so. Oh, well, that's fair. That's fair. So, uh, you mentioned that you might be doing something that's kind of Christmassy. So, out of curiosity, a lot of people think of snow with Christmas. Where is all the snow? <laughs> that's a good question. I hoped in a Christmas, in a more Christmas uh, map, but still got a stalls was mm, how is this called Christmas market stalls here got here the Christmas trees let's say it's like in the last years here in Italy it doesn't snow that much it's still uh, gotcha gotcha winter but you got not have that much snow this year it happens awesome that sounds absolutely great now as far as anything else that we need to look for here in the back half, thank you, Streamertopia, for that sub. Really means a lot. Thank you so much for supporting the season snap event. But as far as the kind of the back half, like, uh, what else are you going to be working on? What are you going to try and build towards? Or are you just going to start focusing on detailing and beautification? Now I'm more on detailing, to be honest. Well, I'm also build a kind of a pink city. Don't know how to call it. Uh, but more, no, to help uh, to boost uh, this zone, basically. Gotcha. I, I got what you mean. So kind of like a feeder city. Okay, yeah, feeder city. Sense. And obviously here I need to work a bit more on this area. Focus in this last hour. I focus more on this area. Awesome. So we'll be sure to look forward to that. Uh, and then we'll be sure to check with you at the end during the end interviews. But folks, <coughs> until then, this is twitch.tv slash nightmorphers. Be sure to check them out and let them know that you're rooting for them. And we'll be sure to chat with you at the end, buddy. Okay, later. Awesome. And now we're on to but participant number four, Taradra okay. with the dunce hat on. What's, uh, I mean, I always knew you were a dunce, but why are you wearing the hat? Uh, because whenever we get a hype train in here, I put a party hat on. And chat just exploded with support, so now I have a party hat on for the next minute and six okay, seconds. Okay, well, hey, party, yeah. hat. party hats are always good. Uh, yes, it kind sir. of looks like a traffic cone, just so you know. That's fine. You look like a traffic <laughs> cone. Got him. Uh, well, I, thank you. I've always aspired to look like a traffic cone. Because, I mean, if you're going to look like a piece of traffic hardware, I mean, you might as well look like a cone. That means, that means, you're, that means you're a permanent dunce, just for the record. That's true. Or I'm a permanent cone head. Depends on your point yes. of view. I mean, <laughs> so... Uh, how are we feeling? You've got about 49 minutes left. Do you feel like you're on pace? Are you maybe a little behind? I'm uh, way ahead of schedule. I'll be finished in about 10 minutes. Oh, wow. You're, oh, that's that's feeling then, pretty bold there. <laughs> and then I'm going to just detail. You ever seen me detail Ooh. before? I, I've seen you start to detail. I've never seen you carry through with it. Yeah, we got... Uh, <laughs> let, me show, let me give you a little look-see so far. So here's what we got. Let me, yeah. let me throw some things here. So over here is my industrial area. And we have a recycling facility and a landfill, and this is gonna be just basic industrial to kind of power the city. Our dam never got any electricity, but it looks cool, so I'm gonna leave it there. I ran yeah, the train nice. track uh, adjacent to it, that way it looks really neat. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the city center here that we're gonna put some shops and stores here. I have a radio broadcasting network, that way they can, now, that, that way they can talk about the Apple Festival. We have a little festival area here where they can listen to music, like a little uh, amphitheater. Over here, I couldn't find anything that didn't say grill without going to the workshop again. But this is the this is the farmer's market. Right here is um, uh, organic produce zoned commercial. So once that actually turns on, it'll look a lot better. So this is going to fill in with the parking slot, parking spots and everything. It's all gravel. This is going to be the residential area where all the houses are. We got the school set up here with a water tower. And then over here is the farm field. We're not finished with it yet, but it's apple shaped. And I actually, I downloaded this little Apple ad tree asset here. We're actually gonna put them like around the entire city and pretend like the, the lore behind it's gonna be like this area naturally produces apples. So they just kind of took it upon themselves to embrace it and they have a festival every year. So you're giving Johnny Appleseed to run for his money is what you're doing. Yeah, this is gonna be like Johnny Apple drone or something, just spitting seeds everywhere. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, again, this is a great and honestly really creative, too. I love the idea of going for that, like, Apple Festival because it's so small and intimate and it really works. But yes. I can't wait to see how it pans out. So, other than detailing, which Taradra detailing, let's all brace for that, chat. But while we're bracing for that, uh, 
I just have to tell you that it does look great. I love the apple shape. I love the personality here, and I can't wait to see the build as a whole. It's going to look absolutely great. And, and there's one more trick up my sleeve that you won't see until the end. Ooh, like until the end end or until when, the when almost end? Final interview. There's going to have to be like a 30-second prep, and I got to show you something at the end. Okay, kinda I mean, like, you'll, you'll have like the Polyphony Prout down. Kind of like the light-up chirper from last time, but even better. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll have to find out. So, folks, okay. go to twitch.tv slash Taradra. Go check out his apples at twitch.tv slash Taradra. That sounds really out. awkward. We're, we're, we're going to move on before it gets more awkward. All right, bye. Thanks. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> all right. So, there are our competitors. They're all doing really well. So, folks, what do you think? Who do you think is pulling ahead? Do you think someone's pulling ahead? Do you feel like no one's really pulling ahead? Is someone falling behind? What's going on here, folks? Well, that's very, yes, apart from the train curve. Yeah, that one train curve. You noticed it too, Dom, because you and I, we, we like our trains. We're sitting there looking at that train, like, kind of scale back and forward thing. It's just like, what is this? Oh, my gosh. I wonder if the guy that made that acid just poured it, poured the vanilla model with the vanilla hot bar. I mean, maybe. Here we go. His apples, I know, right? I like earlies, but before I like earlies, and I'm actually starting to like all of them, honestly. I do feel that they're all very creative in their own ways, and honestly, this is going to be a rubric decision for sure. Absolutely a rubric decision. I know Tarantula just gets pop in, so he will pull off his vision. Yeah, he'll get his pop in. He, him getting pop in isn't even a question. I do question him detailing, though, because anyone that has what has spent any time watching Tarantula, for those that don't know, I lurk him, like, nonstop, basically, uh, especially when he's doing Skylines and all that, but, like, I, I, I'm not convinced he knows detailing, but... He claims he's going to detail, so we're going to have to see what Taraja detailing looks like. And also, I guess that means that hell freezes over. Oh, snap. It's season snap day. Hello, everyone. What's up, Dr. Gunt? Hope you're doing well. I didn't know that Taraja detailed. I didn't. I, I, I still maintain he hasn't yet, but we'll have to see where that comes from. There we go. I like really like doing me, too. The train can't disturb me. It disturbed me, too. Wait, you like fake trains, guys, and electric stars? I like real trains, which are electric stars. Someone escort dumb off the premise. <laughs> Just kidding. We love dumb. But yes, it's season snap day, Dr. Guns. How are you doing? And Kitty Claw, let's go ahead and wrap up that next giveaway, if you don't mind. We'll go ahead and give away this next thing again. This giveaway that we're getting ready to wrap up is from Adventures of AJ. And it is actually for a copy of Sunset Harbor. I can't wait to give that away to someone. Let's see who it goes to. Can we get some drum rolls in chat? Doing well, doing well. Hopefully on your side, too. Yes, hopefully on your side. Uh, Sure, why not? You can be on my side. I don't know what my side is, but you can be on it. Four or five minutes left. We run before we unlive. I know, right? Enter. There we go. Be sure to enter for Sunset Harbor, courtesy of Adventures of AJ. There we go. And NVA, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. And same as Two Energy. What's up? There we go. All right. So let's see what this is. And also, folks, uh, reminder with that merch. We've got some merch now. We're adding more merch. It's going to be absolutely great. Can't wait to get you those links. Who won the first giveaway? The first giveaway for Surviving the Aftermath went to Cybex Streams. He is going to hit me up on the back end, and we're going to have a beautiful time playing Surviving the Aftermath. There we go. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Eclipse Chris, for sending me that. I see the thing that you sent me. It does look good. There we go. So let's go ahead and pull that back. Beautiful. Congrats, Sweetsy. Sweetsy has won. Congratulations, Sweetsy. You win the prize. The prize is Sunset Harbor. And be sure to head up Kitty Claude with that. Aftermath, loving that game. Isn't it great, Dr. Gun? It's so great. It's absolutely great. And I've been streaming it a lot lately. It's absolutely wonderful. And I've got a guide up on YouTube and on Steam. So you can check it out in a variety of capacities. Glad you like the look of that. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean there, Eclipse. There we go. Ooh, failed to giveaway. Yeah, no giveaway right now. But yeah, thank you, Adventures of AJ, for supplying Sweetsy with that beautiful Sunset Harbor key. And thank you, AJ and CIS team. Eee, I know, right? It was like a team up that you didn't even ask for. But thank you in general to everyone who's helped supply those giveaways. Because again, those giveaways are courtesy of the community and to give to the community because we love our community here. And if we can do anything to make people have a beautiful day, that is what we are here for, folks. There we go. And thank you, of course, to Kitty Claude for running such giveaways. Two legit city. What is up, my friend? Hope you're doing magnificent and beautiful. We are, of course, at the 42 minutes remaining mark for this week's Cities in a Snap event. 
We've got Jarajo building an Apple Festival. We've got Cyberscythe working on, I guess, kind of like a citywide music festival, more like a fall festival with an attached music event to it. And then, of course, we've got Early Raid with some incredible rally racing going on. And then we've, of course, got Night Morphus with kind of a not-so-white Christmas thing going on. So we're going to have to see how this all pans out in the end. There we go. Sweetsy got a key. Nice! Congratulations, Sweetsy, again. Uh, I expect to see you enjoying that Sunset Harbor, and it'll be perfect and beautiful and amazing. Oh, there we go. Gotta chug that drink. All right, so, what do you think, folks? What's your favorite build so far? We've got some people saying early rave. Uh, I think all the builds are strong personally. I do feel that if I were to say that there's a top two, bottom two, I think that'd be really hard. I think it'd be really, really hard. Because here's the thing. Taradra's got great groundwork, and he can instantly come through just like that. Early Rave has all the details there, but he doesn't have as much fleshed out. And Cyber Sight is somewhere in the middle, and then Night Morphus, it's just not quite there yet. Like, this, the scope is there, the vision is coming together, but he's it's just not quite sealing in position yet. But if he can manage to seal that together, I think it'll be perfect and beautiful. There you go. Not everyone has a white Christmas cast. No, I know. I was just joking around because it's more fun that way. Someone said something. Wait, someone said what? I didn't say anything. That does not go on the bingo card. By the way, how is your bingo card looking this week, folks? Let us know how your bingo card is looking. Tell them, Mrs. Kaz. Wait, what? I know, right? Oh, poor people that don't have a white Christmas. But snow, to be fair, I haven't had a white Christmas very much lately either because of the lack of snowfall. I really like that there's not four Christmas cities. I thought that was going to happen. I was honestly expecting to have two. Like, my money was on having two of them. And having, like, two Christmas ones and then two that are just, like, general fall. But it looks like we've got, really, two fall-themed things. More of kind of a Christmassy thing. And then we've got one that is kind of none of the above. But it definitely occurs in fall due to the color palette that it's using. There you go. We just have a rainy Christmas. I mean, you are in England, after all. So, too legit. How are you doing, my friend? I hope you're doing well today. Absolutely beautifully. Folks, I'm told that Too Legit is possibly going to enter Cities in the Snap soon. Hmm, we'll have to see when that's going to be. Thank you for the Scott follow there, Scary Boy. Welcome to the Cities in the Snap community. Oh, oh, I know, right? He told me that last night after he raided me. Because I was streaming late and he raided me and he promised me that he was going to enter at some point. Totally not Sky in the competition. <laughs> Oh, too legit, too legit. Yeah, man, man, you always do well. Because, folks, again, if you don't know too legit, you're doing it wrong. He is one of those folks that takes vanilla to the max. Because people always say, oh, Kaz, you sit there and, like, do the calculations and all that. And I do. But he does that nearly exclusively. Like, he, like his pipe networks. Let me tell you about that man's pipe networks. <laughs> it's beautiful and amazing. Actually, I had a white Christmas period because in the hills above my town, the last few years, snow has become way more common. Thanks to global warming. Well, there you go. It's not a rainy Christmas, Gareth. It's a green Christmas. I mean, maybe. Beautiful, Luca. Beautiful indeed. So see, there's always a silver lining. But speaking of silver linings, let's see if there's a silver lining to this apparent car crash happening on early rave, early rave stream. So let's go ahead and check that out. And also, quick plug, folks. If you ever do want to scout the competition, see what we've been up to, be sure to check out our previous events over on youtube be sure to go over there help us build that youtube channel and there will be some youtube exclusive content there in the future as well so you'll want to subscribe over there nice and quick last year was my first desert christmas this year i'm going to take the turkey camping <laughs> what oh boy it's honest work someone's got to lay the pipe i know right Dilja is an amazing fellow builder it's true and also really great at traffic management and he's actually one of the reasons why everyone who's tell because I, I use traffic manager just to like get quote realistic traffic, but people are always like, oh, you can't have good traffic without it. It's like, no, <laughs> you can have beautiful traffic without TMPE. I know of several examples. There we go. Dude, there we go. All right. And then, all right, that looks pretty good. So what do we think, folks? So far, I think that Taradra's apple orchard area is actually starting to come together really nicely. And, again, I feel like Morphus, it's not that he's falling behind, but I feel like the others are just really pulling ahead. And over here, I love this little detail here. Check this out, because you can actually see the cars as they try to swerve around. You can even see it looks like a decayed car. And it looks like, yes, he's even using... Oh, yes, he is using him. 
Oh, that is great. That is amazing. He is actually using PO to make the car look wrecked or wrecking as if it's a like in the middle of a wreck. That's actually a really cool effect. And I'm kind of shocked that we haven't seen something similar to it before. I am really shocked by that. So let's go ahead and check out what else he's doing. So right here, it looks like he's got more of the rally stuff happening. He's trying to bank the curve. You can have good traffic, but I'd argue that making realistic traffic without TMP is incredibly hard. That's what I would argue too, Luca. Lies and propaganda, probably. He's doing a me. I know, right? But I do really like the way this is panning out. I mean, I can't lie. This is looking really, really good. And for some of that, again, I don't know rally racing. So this is going to be a little hard for me to judge. But right now, it's looking really good. Because I like the fact that you've got some spoopy parts of the path. You've got some straight parts of the path. You've got some windy parts. You've got some flat areas. And I like the variety. Because it really does show that they just wove the path wherever they could. There's a reason why Early Rave won the Detailers competition. He's so creative. I know, right? Wait, he won the Detailers comp. Hmm. I don't remember him winning the Detailers one because it was usually working that one last time. All right, so let's go ahead and bump on over to Cyber. So Cyber over here building a lot of industrial areas here and building up some good fences for it, getting a lot of good development here. Now... The question is, can he properly integrate this to make it feel at one with the area? It looks like he'll be able to, but it's also going to be a little hard maybe to get some traffic on there unless he manages the warehouse as well. So let's go ahead and hope that he manages to do so. There we go. PO is just a powerhouse, pretty much. You just wish it was possible to tell emergency vehicles and TMPE to follow the rules if they're not blocked. Yeah, there are some mods that have attempted to tweak that API, but they haven't been entirely successful and they end up a little bit janky. So I'm still waiting for a good version of all those mods to come out. PO is great to make massive ducks. Oh my goodness, you and your ducks. You and Ernie. There we go. All right, so let's see here. I think... Yeah, that looks pretty darn good. And it looks like he's actually going to add even more of it over here. So see, that is really good use of move it. Get one area of your city done, then you can just copy the area, twist it a little bit, then maybe change one or two little things. That's a great, great time saver. And I absolutely love it. That's the stuff I like to see. That is good strategy. So let's go ahead and check out the not-so-white Christmas city from Nightmorphus. And also, folks, uh, opinions on the new little name tags that pop up for people. I'm curious what you all think of it. Because I think it looks good, but I'm a little bit biased because I'm me. So, <laughs> there you go. Easier to confuse. Oh, is it? There you go. I have a terrible memory. I, I don't know what's going on there, sweetie. There we go. So, I think... I think, uh, overall, I like the idea. He's using the right assets. He's using a lot of the mountain assets. He's using some of the kind of Christmas village assets, as we've seen. But again, I'm curious what's going to sell it. Because I'm not saying it has to have snow. I've, I've just been joking about that. Because you don't have to have snow to have Christmas. But I am curious what he's going to do to help sell that it's a Christmassy theme. Now, something he could do is tweak it to something like nighttime and put some decorative lighting up. That would do it. Uh, if he were to do things such as maybe have a town square that is ready for Christmas, that could also be a thing. He could maybe even try doing just like a Christmas parade. There's a lot of different things you can do to represent Christmas as festivities. So let's go ahead and hope that he manages to pull that off. There we go. I like the name tags. It helps keep everyone clearly labeled. Well, I meant the new one, because basically the old one used to pop up and go away for each of the four competitors, but now it just, like, sits there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that graphic, and the end goal for it is you'll be able to actually... I'm going to actually put it up there above each person's screen. And there's also another little trick I want to do with it, but I haven't figured out a good, sorry, automated way to do it yet. And it's going to be really cool once I figure it out. Trust me. There we go. Yes, the beaches where you can get eaten by a shark. Yes. There we go. Never seen two people in the same room. Yeah, exactly. If you don't see two people in the same room, they're probably the same person. Why is the gray bar in the new name tag? And why is the curvy? So the gray bar is there for, I didn't get it done for today, unfortunately. But you see my little twitch.tv slash casgem thing down here in the gray area. It's going to be that, but it's going to be participant one, participant two, participant three, etc. Or like week one winner, week two winner, reigning champion, whenever people like Kitty Claw come on, like giveaways warden, 
and then whenever people like Cybex or Gareth or any of our guest commentators come on, it'll say guest commentator, things like that. I just didn't get that implemented yet. I got a lot of it done last night in the random night stream that I did, but I didn't quite get it done. My plan is to try and get that done before day's end today. Oh, okay, makes sense, right. And yeah, the curve isn't quite clean either. Like, again, this was kind of a rough draft, like, try to make it... I was trying to make it... Give it a little bit of a fun, like, curly cue like that, and I it just didn't quite work out. I need to reduce the bend on the bottom bit by about 50%. I think a straight line will look much nicer than the curve and the gray. No, well, I'm going to be trying different things, too, so we'll have to find out what works. Oh, I like it. It'll kind of display ranks and stuff. Kind of. And that's kind of what the goal of it is going to be, because basically the new approach is it's all completely data driven now so now i don't have to sit there and make new renders for everyone now whenever i just edit participant one early rave it automatically made that new graphic for early rave basically that's what happened now whereas passes had to make those graphics separately the morning of the event and then i would have to export them then i'd have to make sure that they work etc etc now i had a template so it got reduced to like a 20 minute task but now i can have a lot of fun with it and there's some cool ideas i have for that that we will be talking about in the post snap uh conversation so be sure to join the post snap conversation sometime in discord right after the event ends it's a great time beautiful time it's a great time where you can share some ideas you can hear some ideas about the future of the event and that is where we often help mold some of the future aspects of the event a quarter round might look good yeah something like that so like a po then doesn't make ducks maybe his apple needs a worm that'd actually be cute if it had a worm i'd be interested to see how you did that to know how you did that oh it's actually really easy it's really super easy gareth once you hear how i did it it's it's really simple like it's literally the easiest solution all right so let's go ahead and i believe that is actually about good to go and then kitty claude is that all we have from you today just out of curiosity just let me know uh, let's see here's app and again i'm trying to think what could the worm be oh eclipse chris what if he had a little worm in the apple and then you just had like a little dump site like we have the little uh recycling bins we have recycling bins on the workshop that work as actual like dumping sites for garbage what if you had the worm and then you had those recycling bins on the end of it that way you would actually get traffic on there and it'd have a purpose to the road i think that'd be really cute I got OBS text with video behind or web page? Web page. There we go. It's a web page, Gareth. There we go. Hey, Pumpkinhead. There we go. Din, how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing well. Okay, makes sense. I'm glad it makes sense, Cuboid. And yeah, we will be adjusting that curve a little bit, but it's just to help give it a more unified look. There we go. But yeah, and then also the other thing that we are doing with that is we are attempting to actually make it to where, because for instance, most people have their own little streaming like logos and whatnot so what if cyber Scythe's name tag automatically had the cyber Scythe logo on it what if taradra's logo was automatically in his name tag etc etc that way as you're looking you can see the visual identity of this is this streamer i think that'd be really cool and i think i have a way to do it they're good lurking hi hi hope you're doing well dean yes and i'm glad you're doing well who do you think he is doing the best so far you know right now i have to say i don't have an exact answer however if i were to go with gut feeling i feel that early rave and cyber are ahead with taradra in third and morphus in fourth now that's as of right now just immediate gut feeling not using my rubric and the rubric could completely prove that wrong that's the power of the rubric. The, the rubric can even change my opinion on that. So, again, right now, I would say Early Rave and Cyber kind of up there as one and two. Taradra as an incredibly close third based on the things I'm seeing so far. And then Morphus, I would say not too far behind Taradra, but definitely in fourth, I think. Now, again, gut feeling. Do not use that as your own insight, but that's just how it looks to me right now. Taradra in second, always like... <laughs> oh, you're all too. Always doing well, Din. It's, it's, it's Cities and Staff Day. How couldn't I be perfect and beautiful? There we go. Do it. That won't be too hard to do, Kaz. Wouldn't be too hard to do, no, especially with some of Polyphony's new toys. There we go. Taraja in second. Always second. But Taraja second. Eh, no. 
But yeah, Gareth, there, there are things we can do with that. Because keep in mind, I've not only been growing the uh, polyphony API, I've also been making it universal. A universal API between JS and PHP. And since I use web pages already for cities in a snap, you can already start to draw your own conclusions there. There we go. And hope you're well. There we go. Trojans and Grand Pwned. Oh, if only Taraja would get second. We don't know if he'll get second. Because also, is he going for human second or overall second? Because let's remember, Polyphony always wins. Polyphony absolutely always wins with zero exceptions. But folks, with just 26 minutes remaining, not too much time left. Honestly, at this point, I am not, I'm still not really seeing that detailing that we've been promised from Taraja. We are seeing a lot of great stuff from early rave up here. We've got the trucks that are going around transporting the cars. We've got Morphus getting more and more of a city and starting to flush it out. So hopefully you can see some of those details that he's known for. And Cyber with overall a very good plan. But again, uh, we just don't have a good sense of the overall scope of things. We're gonna have to wait and see how that pans out. Early Raven, Cyber Scythe. Oh, you think Early Raven, Cyber Scythe. Okay, that's fair. What's everyone else think, folks? Who do you think is currently winning? Or not necessarily winning. Does anyone have someone that you feel is in the running? And why? Like, what do you think is in the running right now? There we go. Early Rave. You think Early Rave. I think Early Raves is doing very well. Doing very, very well. But again, I think Cybers is right up there. But again, I could be wrong. That's just gut feeling. Not using my rubric right now. Morphus is putting up snowmen. Nice. So are they melting snowmen? Because it's not snow anymore. I reckon I got this. All right, Slim. I mean, you've got 25 minutes, Slim. Anything could happen. Uh, but Slim, I got to tell you, your build, it looks like you just completely forgot to lay down roads. How'd you manage to do that, Slim? There you go. You're rooting for them. I'm glad you're rooting. Because, folks, I want everyone to, over the next five minutes, at some point, go over to one of the participants' chats. Not necessarily your favorite participant. I want everyone to go to one participant chat, and I can see I have chat logs to see who's done or not, and tell them that you're rooting for them. There we go. Watching those two close on Twitch. Nice. Drops in. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> well, there you go. Hey, that works. There we go. Poly string snowman. Uh, I, sure, why not? But yeah, that it is looking really, really good, and I am really excited. And again, I love the idea of early and I love the idea of Taradras. Cyber Slice is a bit more, not really generic, but it's a bit more, I guess, widely scoped. So he's got to do a really good job of selling it in order to get the theme points. And then Morphus is starting to really make his feel festive. He's got a lot of kind of the mountaintop villagers. Like maybe it's just a dry spell or a heat wave or something. Or maybe it's just like a peak summer month so there's not much snow. Because that's kind of what it feels like to me up there in the mountains. They go, Slim, you can't blue Peter this. Wait, what? I don't know what's going on there anymore. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, folks, also, what do you think of the festivities in general? Do we like the idea of festivities in a snap? Are we hyped to have another week of this next week and then the finals later on? They go, Gareth, Cyberside at the beginning. There we go. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, I, I think that was the reference, 84. UK joke, Kaz. I just thought of an amazing idea where I get 100 hours to everyone else's one hour. Uh, Slim, I, I don't like the sound of that because I would have to host that. And dear goodness, I can barely make it through Cities in the Snap. Could you imagine me after 200 hours of it while you build? Dear goodness gracious, I wouldn't be able to talk for months after that. That'd be nuts. My voice would just be gone. It'd be shot. How do you expect me to do that, Slim? I can't do it. I'm too weak. I am too weak for it. There we go. But folks, also, quick plug, be sure to check out the Patreon if you want to support the event some more. Be sure to also uh, go and check out the sub button if you feel like you want to subscribe here. Also, check out the Discord for more community suggestions, community discussions, things such as sharing assets, workshop links, maps, anything that you've made. We've got some great communities going on. And also, uh, some interesting early discussions that we'll be having polls for in the Discord. And also be sure to follow us and retweet everything you see on Twitter. Lots of good stuff happening there. And of course, you want to check out the YouTube as well. And also, check out the Reddit posts as they come up. It'll be fine. I'll pre-record it and then time-lapse it into one hour. Ah, oh, gotcha. That probably won't be overpowered. <laughs> you only get three hours? No, get that joke out of here. Oh my goodness. Funny bit of merch coming with that, though. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Be sure to check out the merch stuff for that. Interesting demolition and cyber screen. Yeah, that was interesting. I'm not sure what that was. I kind of think that maybe that was him deciding, 
I don't have time to flesh that out. I think that's what that was. I think it was just, we don't have time for that. And I think that that was probably what he's doing. And then right here, he is actually going around and getting rid of some of the trees to help his tree cap. Because that is one problem with the Elena Falls map. It starts really close to tree cap. So if you want to build a nice green city in the heart of it, you're in for a tree. Because you've got to go erase a fair amount of trees. Very smart and the right move. I would definitely agree. Because keep in mind, it's not good to bite off more than you can chew for this event. Because it's hard enough to get what you need done, let alone getting your wish list done. The wish list completion is a little bit spoopy in this case. There we go. All right, and that all looks good. Can't repeat that. Okay, so let's go ahead and also check out some of the others. Let's get another up close at early rave. Because I think that this by itself has been absolutely magnificent to look at. I love the colors. I love the winding roads. I love the details of it. And he's putting so much care into it as well. That's something I absolutely love. The amount of care here is so great. And he's just adding more dirt to it to make it really look like an old rusty road that you're driving down. It's just that extra little bit of detail that really gets the job done, I think. I like early Rose build. I'm really liking it too. I think this is really a good contender so far. I also get at least one thing I want to get in. Right, Eclipse. And like, you're someone who would know. I mean, you can't overplant because if you overplant, you're just going to be doomed. But speaking of which, uh, Eclipse, has it sunk into you yet that you're the current reigning champion of Cities in the Snap? Has, has it settled in yet? Oh, and also a quick shout out to Toady YPQ, who this past week uh, participated on the Paradox Interactive stream. Uh, we have been asked questions about this, and I've announced it in Discord. I'll go ahead and announce it here. That's actually a special opportunity to people who have won Season of Snap. And Toady had won the Breast Cancer Awareness event. So I went through a couple of previous winners, including her, uh, and she was chosen for it because occasionally Maddie is unable to go, and instead of not having it, uh, Paradox has spoken with me, and uh, basically they want me to select one of our participants, and I'm always going to prioritize our winners. So, it's a remote chance, but keep in mind, if you are a winner of Cities in Snap, you just might be getting a call, and you might be able to be featured on a Paradox Interactive stream. So, if that's not incentive to enter, I don't know what is. There we go. I'm the slowest building, and we still get stuff up in two hours. It's true, Kitty. Kenny Claude should see me on average. I spend a good 200 hours per map. Ghostbusters! I know, right? I base every building one at a time, plus some detailing too. Okay, maybe slower than me. Yeah, he makes Slay look fast. Like, Slim makes Slay look fast, which is impressive. There we go. Tony, whoa, that's amazing. Congrats. Yep. Well, you got to get her on there, and she did great. She built a ski resort, which, conveniently enough, she's also done on Season Snap before. But yeah, so folks, remember, if you want that opportunity, that goes as a top priority to previous winners of the event. So be sure to keep that in mind. And it doesn't happen all the time, but whenever there is an open slot due to people being absent, uh, I am uh, not really tasked by more. I'm just the person that they go to like, hey, find a person. There we go. Slim, slow but steady, indeed. There goes Slay, fast, saying that he can detail three whole buildings in one hour. It's true, he can detail three whole buildings in one hour if they come partially detailed. There we go. All right, so Slim, slow but steady. Slow but steady is always the way to go. So did anyone else check out Toadie's performance on the Paradox Interactive stream? It was absolutely great. I caught it. I thought it was absolutely legendary. But right here, this is interesting. So he's using the firework launchers that came with Park Life, I believe. And he's using them to kind of designate where all the different areas are on the map. And also, to kind of give it a little bit more pizzazz, I love that. Probably my only wish list item here is that we could actually see the cars racing around. Because right now it's a little bit stale and not moving too much. But again, if he could manage just making that happen, I would be so happy. But again, I think what he has is good enough. Good morning, Cash. I'm sleep well. Looking forward to CIS tonight? Yes, I'm looking forward to CIS tonight. How are you doing there, miss? Wait, what did I miss a Toadie? Digis. Uh, Toadie was on the Paradox Interactor stream. I picked her as a representative for Cities in the Snap because they needed a fill-in. And they contacted me said, Hey, Kaz, uh, one of your folks want to come over and do this? And I was like, sure. We got some folks that want to do this. And I contacted a couple of our previous winners. Toadie said yes, and so she got it. Toadie was excellent, and I know some people at Paradox were pleased, too. Yes, well, that's what I have. That's what's going around the rumor mill, Q-Boy. 
They go, Toy did do awesome, it's true. They go, he could do the cars if he had a bus route and set the buses to race cars. Yeah, he could. And the question is, will he do that in the time remaining? That's not an official prior position, just informal force. No, I know. No, maybe you never chilled out at the skate. Cute boy does not paradox. He's just our little no, he's not. I was gonna make a bad joke. If a Toyota Paradox guy from you monster, I know, right? <laughs> you should be able to do rally cars. You should. Uh, because again, we've seen something similar with usually working in details in a snap last month. He did something very similar for the Monaco racing track. Fairly sure they're just props. They're just props in this case, yes. But you should be able to do it, because again, there the tools exist. It's just the mat it's just the question of have they done the linkages needed to make that work. There we go, and we talk about Matt, you're rebinding page up and page down to TNG. Yeah, that is a little strange. It's definitely a little strange. Yeah, I've seen earlier a place the cars with props. Oh, I know, right? Definitely great. The rally cars are only props. They aren't working cars on Workshop. So, I wonder if someone could make them working cars. I wonder how difficult that is. Cue boy, chop chop. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at me working cue boy to the bone. Poor cue boy. So... He can do rally cars. There are rally cars. With oh, well, there you go. Rally cars with buses. There you go. So there you go. We don't need to do anything. Cuboid uh, gets spared a little bit of work. And so we'll get him to work on the movement integration for IRL. Do you have a link ship? Ooh, yeah. Let's definitely get that link going. Uh, post it here or in the Discord so that more people can see that. Q's just going to leave. <laughs> Q would never leave because he's in my basement. He can't leave. So let's go ahead and give them that 15 minute warning as it comes up. Because folks, with 15 minutes left, their core build should be done by this point. Their core build should absolutely be done, if not coming to a close. And we're reaching that point where they need to focus on detailing. They need to focus on getting those last bits of beautification. They need to fix any critical issues in their city. And they just need to finish up their presentable product. Now that the bulk is done. There I go. Thanks, miss. There we go. Uh, Miss gets cute, but it's like cake for me. It was like the evil casual. And Mr. Tommy with the tier one sub. High five, my friend. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. And thank you so much for the support of the Cities and a Snap channel. Again, really means a lot. And folks, remember you can subscribe. You can use your Twitch Prime. You can also do things like Patreon. Always a great instance. And the Sheik, what did you post, my friend? I don't see what you posted, unfortunately, because of the interface I'm using. Get the hype rolling in chat. Mr. Tommy, five months. That's absolutely legendary. And three months in a row. That's a three-month streak as well. High five, Mr. Tommy. How are you doing, Mr. Previous Rating Champion? There we go, the rally car link. Oh, gotcha. But Ship, I believe, posted that as well. So there we go. We've got it in two spots. There we go. And then can we also get it in Discord from someone? That way we can have the link to that. Because I know people are going to want this stuff later. Tenfold range and population. Love it. And it is quite the range in population, so let's go ahead and check out everyone's population. Now, keep in mind, some people are going for that small town vibe. So, whereas population is a part of the rubric, it's not as much as it used to be. There you go. In Discord also. Nice. Well, there you go. We've got it in multiple places. Thank you so much, Ship. You are a legend. Thank you so much for that. So, over here, it looks like we've got a population of 15,600. And then participant number two, Cyberscythe currently has a population of 12,300, also very respectable. Then we've got 3,700 from Nightmorphus, and overall, I'm actually, oh my goodness, did you guys see that shadow? He's got Santa's sleigh. He has Santa's sleigh as a blimp. Ignis, he has your blimp, and it's Santa Claus, oh my goodness yes just all of the yes yes santa's sleigh is a blimp can we get some hype in chat only on cities and snap folks only on cities and snap do you have apple orchards santa as a blimp and rally car races this is great just that's unique points right there that's how you score those unique points people have always asked me how do you get the unique points how do i get more unique points you gotta wow me. You gotta hit me with that moment here in chat where I'm just like, yes! And that gets you those unique points. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely legendary. Oh, uh, Morpheus is going down in history now. I think Morpheus just won. <laughs> I think he just won the chat vote for sure. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get a dummy chat vote. Uh, moderators, can we go ahead and get a dummy chat vote up? Just like who people think are winning right now? Just, well, just make like a quick little 60 second poll for who people think are winning. 
Jesus, I know, right? And of course, uh, Taradra over here, decorating the whole area with apple trees. And again, part of the lore of it is there's just, he's putting Johnny Appleseed, he's giving him a run for his money. And I do love that. Just the lore of it is you've got all these apples. It's great for apples. They grow wildly everywhere. Absolutely great. Can we have a fifth opinion option of polyphony for those who don't want to vote? <laughs> sure. It's up to Cuboid, actually. But yeah, if he wants to, sure. Hey, you don't have to vote in this. It's purely just a fun, opinionated thing. Like, who do you think is currently winning on your opinion? There we go. And I don't actually know if it's being posted or not, just due to the interface that I'm using. But we'll have to wait around for that. There we go. Uh, for this one, maybe. And then, dude, oh, I love that little emote. Oh, that was absolutely cute. So let's head on back to here and check out everyone's builds from afar. And again, four very good builds so far. Absolutely love it. Cash, it's simple. Who's winning? Chat's winning. Chat is always winning because, folks, you are all legends here. Absolute legends. But yeah, for those that don't want to avoid polyphony, exactly. 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 Get it? Because eggs. <laughs> so, so far, again, we've got four unique ideas, too. Because we've got the app orchard from Taraji. We've got kind of a Christmassy thing from Night Morphus. We've got Cyber Scythe with the fall festivities. And then Early Rave with the rally car races. Pulls up. Sorry for the typos. No, you're fine. So who is ahead now? Let's see who wins this. We got Early Rave and Night Morphus immediately rocketing into the lead there. Oh my goodness. And folks, with just 11 minutes left, folks. This is what I look forward to every week, folks. The last 10 minutes of Cities and Snap. This is what I look forward to. And so far, Early Rave really running away with the chat opinions right now. Dear goodness gracious. Wait, are there typos? I don't see any typos. Yeah, I don't see any typos. It actually looks really good to me. There you go. All hail Santa's Santa's slate. You mean you said Santa's slate? You mean Santa's sleigh? Are you okay there, Luca? Do you do you smell burnt toast? All right. So again, right now I have to agree with chat overall. I think that early rave is definitely in the lead, and I think that's a fun little stunt from Night Morphus. Don't get me wrong. I love the little stunts, and I feel like. Taradra, while good, I feel like it's lacking a lot of the details that we need to see. And Satan's... Oh my goodness, no! <laughs> you smell Luca Grish. I smell Luca Grish too. But it's okay, folks, because we have 10 minutes remaining, folks. 10 minutes remaining. Get the hype rolling in chat, folks. And I need to chug some water. Santa Slay or Satan Slay. You know what? It can be both. <laughs> it can be both. Oh my goodness. And thank you for the follow, and welcome to the Season Snack Community, Dizarth Vizader. Ah, there we go. And remember, folks, we need to vote for our favorite cities, not our favorite streamers. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be great. So here it is. Merry Christmas, everyone. I was wearing for the... Oh, my goodness. It's never too early for Christmas. It's true. It's never too early for Christmas. I start celebrating Christmas on December 26th. That's when I start. There we go. So here it is. Merry Christmas. There we go. Indeed. And thank you so much for running that quick little fun poll there, Cuboid. Absolute legend. Can we get a quick shout out for all of the moderators? All of our moderators are absolute legends. Uh, the actual chat vote will be at the end here in chat. There we go. Moderators. There we go. Get that mod. Oh, and it's not that. Is it this? Moderators. Wow, I misspelled moderators. Rip. 25th of December, still too for Christmas. Bah humbug. Oh my goodness, miss. You make me put up the tree at the end of November. I don't make you. I volunteer to do it. We put up the tree. It'll be great. I don't know. But should me and Kaz wife do like a setting up the tree stream or something this year? That'd be funny. I'm supposed to be taking that weekend off, but I mean, why not? Blames Kazem. Oh, I know, right? We just set up the tree and it'll be great. It'll be like we're putting up a chat Christmas tree. It'll be absolutely great. There we go. I don't have a Christmas tree. Like the day after Thanksgiving. Yep. The day after Thanksgiving, instead of going out and partaking in Black Friday nonsense, we stay at home and put up our tree. Because it's beautiful. And it's a great time to do it. Because what else are you going to do that Friday? Go outside? Especially these days. But folks, with eight minutes remaining, I want to drop a couple of quick plugs. Be sure to check out these events coming up. Next week, we have more festivities in Snap. The 21st, we have the finals for this month. The 28th, no cities in a Snap. I repeat. No cities in a snap event on November 28th. And then December 5th is the All Stars event. December 12th, hosting a snap, myself versus the event founder, Lemon Pops. And then, of course, December 19th, the charity event. 
where we'll be raining destruction on people for the good of others. So do a good thing, make your favorite streamers miserable. Is there like honestly, there's there's it's there's no compromise. You you win both ways. I prefer two trees. Oh, I'm sure you do. Not fan of the sand bomb. Oh my. There you go. I feel like Nightmore is completely dependent on his presentation. I feel like he is leaning heavier and heavier into the presentation. And also, can we talk about Taradra's rapid development down here? Let's check that out. Mama Van, how are you doing, my friend? I hope you're doing well. And folks, with just seven minutes left, yeah, he's building up some quick little city right here just to help reinforce his town. And I think that's a really wise decision. And I really hope his presentation is good, because I think, just like Night Morphus, we're going to have to see Taraja give one heck of a presentation in order to overcome the details that we're seeing from Early Rave and Cyber Scythe. What is this match's theme? This is, as for the title, Festivities and a Snap! This is Festivities and a Snap, and they can do whatever we want. they want. Taraja's doing an Apple Festival. We've got Night Morphus doing something Christmassy. We've got Cyber Scythe doing a Fall Fest with music attached. And then, of course, we've got Early Rave doing a Rally Racing event, which is super fun. We've got four completely unique and different things. There you go. That's one heck of an office block. It is, but honestly, that's the way you see it. You just see these giant, magnificent office blocks like that. There we go. Hi, Bob Van. What's there? We go. We've got the all lineup of all stars out. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's just about out, Mr. Tommy. Just about out. I had to confirm a couple of things on the back end first before I make any promises. Takes office block to a whole new level. Oh, I know, right? There we go. And then goes back to drawing board for a new idea. <laughs> Wait, what was Cybex's idea? What Cybex? What was your idea? Now I'm curious. What was your idea? Which which one of these people stole your idea? I'm, I'm really curious. And it's fine if you take an idea, Cybex. You just need to improve upon it. Or are you afraid that you'll also be judged because it isn't theirs? There you go. So how are you doing, Skyline's Traveler Tech? Welcome in to the last five minutes of Cities in a Snap. This is the place to be if you like City Skylines and you aren't here every week. You're doing it wrong. And also a quick shout out to those that are on the Patreon, those that subscribe, those that gift, those that bit, all that stuff. It, it all adds up and it all really means a lot because it helps push this event forward. And also, a quick special announcement that I need to go ahead and get out there. Next Friday, that's right, a week from yesterday, there will be a special Cities and Snap Grudge Match event between Luca and Dumb Gamer. It's going to be absolutely legendary. It's going to be uh, around midday, so it's going to be a couple hours before this normally starts on friday so that's right there's going to be two events next week on friday and saturday did you announce next week's starters on saturday i will be in putting that out as soon as the event is over i did not have time to get that out because we had a lot of technical issues today but we will be going ahead and getting that out there we go goes back to drawing board for new oh i really want to know what your idea was cybex i've got to know but yeah be sure to come out next Friday for a dumb V Luca. See who can build the best between them. It's going to be absolutely legendary. And I can't wait to see who wins between them. We can see them duke it out. We can see who builds the best trains, who does the best cities, and who has the best trash talk between them. Because remember, folks, the grudge matches are a special thing where you can challenge anyone in the Cities and Snap community to a 1v1, one hour event, you versus them. We all three hang out in Discord, and it is streamed right here. And it has a time and date of our mutual choosing. Comparative City Skylines, I'm interested. Stefan, this happens every single Saturday. You are welcome to come on in and participate or just view. This happens every single Saturday. We do lots of great stuff. We've done industries. We've done just population runs. We've done parks. We've done zoos. And it is a two-hour speed build event for competitors every week. It's absolutely great. Except I do have to note, as per above, no cities in Snap on the 28th because that is a holiday weekend here in the United States. And Kaz's wife and I are going to be spending some time together. There we go. And let me know if you have any questions there, Stefan. And Mooks, how are you doing, my friend? I hope you're doing well. There we go. Where's the three-hour version of this? Nowhere, Skylines Traveler Tech. Nowhere. There we go. Per Kaz, it was dropped. Yep, it was dropped. There we go. And that looks pretty good. So, with three minutes remaining, I have to say, I'm really leaning towards early raid. And actually, Taradra, I think, is now tied with Cyber Scythe, in my opinion. Because, here's why. Taradra's is a complete idea now. It's a complete idea. It feels nice. And I feel like he's made up a lot of the ground. And if he can have a good presentation, I think he can outdo Cyber Scythe. 
Because again, Cyberside doesn't have as much presentation experience here, and you need that presentation experience to win over the chat vote and to actually give us everything we need to know. So I think there's a real possibility for Taradra here. Dang, but that's okay. I know, right? I'll see how amazing this is myself. Thank you very much. Well, there you go. I am glad. So let's go ahead and with just two minutes remaining, we've got early rave over here building up a little bit of what looks like a shopping area, maybe right next to it. No, just like trees that are guarding the starting area for the rally races. And I think that's an interesting idea. That way it actually looks like a general town square that you then just put the rally races into. And then, of course, participant number two, Night Morphus, with his interesting Christmas build, uh, is doing very well. Or, sorry, this is <laughs> this is Cyberscythe, not Night Morphus. Cyberscythe over here doing really great with his town square, with his fall festivities. And I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing. I'm loving the colors. I'm loving the detail. But we need to wait and see what it looks like in the final presentation. And now, on to Night Morphus with his Christmas theme build. Again, no snow, but we've got Santa. He's on his sleigh, flying around on a blimp route. We've got a lot of other things. He's got the right kind of mountain life type things. He's got lots of the Santa's village assets, but no snow. So again, he's going to need to do a really good job on the presentation to subvert the fact that a lot of people might have expected snow for a Christmas type build. And then we've got this over here, the mighty Taradra building his Apple Festival, which again, I think this is the most unique idea we have here. I love the Apple Festival. I love the idea. And with 60 seconds left, he's kicking back. He's relaxing. He has got this, or so he believes. Let's find out if he's got it, folks. Got 45 seconds left in the build phase. 45 seconds, folks. I love Santa flying around idea. It's a great idea, and he has got so many unique points for that. It's not even funny. But folks, help me out this countdown here. We've got 30 seconds left in chat. 30 seconds. And also, reminder to the giveaway winners of Sweetsy to contact Kitty Claude for your giveaway key from Adventures of AJ. And of course, Cybex Dreams hit me up personally so I can give you your Surviving the Aftermath key that you won in today's giveaways. And also, folks, with 10 seconds left and 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and time. Build phase is over. Your time is up. All building must cease. Ooh, that's actually looking pretty good. I like the feeling of it. I like the feeling. Folks, what did you think of that build phase? I think it's looking good. Now, we're going to go ahead and take a brief three-minute break so that we can stand up, stretch our legs. We've been sitting here for a couple hours, so we're going to go ahead we're going to stretch, we're going to refill our beverages, and we'll be right back for the judging phase of Cities in a Snap. Don't go anywhere. Cities in a Snap concludes right after this. Hello and welcome to this week's Cities in a Snap event. I am your organizer and host, Kazjim, and I would like to thank all of you for coming out today. A couple brief things. First of all, thank you moderators who help make this happen. They help keep the chats uh, kind of sane. They also help answer a lot of questions. They also do things such as managing the Discord, managing our Facebook page, keeping the Instagram and Twitter running, and a variety of other activities such as being giveaway wardens. Also, I want to thank all of you who helped make this event happen on a weekly basis. This, ha this does take a lot of man hours on the back end, and uh, it's up to you guys to make sure that it can continue. You guys can help contribute to the Cities and Snap event directly by subscribing to this channel here, twitch.tv slash cities and snap, or by going and giving bits, or you can donate uh, directly, or you can even sign up for our Patreon link down below. And we also want to encourage all of you to let your friends know how you spend your Saturdays and also be sure to hop in the community discord. We are in there all the time. We're answering questions. We're responding to feedback and we're continually trying to make this event better for you, the viewer. Anyways, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you to this week's participants. And I hope you enjoy this week's cities in a snap. All right, folks, we are back. We are getting ready for the judging phase of Cities in a Snap.
and the way the judging phase works is we are going to go visit each and every one of these people and they're going to give us a quick tour of their city they're going to show us what's happening what's not and we are going to judge them we're going to rate them we are going to use my rubric for my part of it and then remember chat you are part of the vote you help decide who wins cities in a snap so be sure to pay attention use the rubric if you need to seasonsnap.com slash rubic to get an idea of how we judge things and we're gonna go ahead and dive right in with the first interview so let's go ahead on over here and let's go ahead and check out that first one over here and that will of course be early rave what's up early rave hey guys welcome in so <sighs> you know the drill by now uh you've got about five minutes on the clock and yes. just take us on a tour show us to your beautiful city and just show us anything that you think is relevant. And I'm not sure if chat wants anything specific as far as like numbers and all that. So feel free to just show us whatever you feel is relevant. Oh, okay. Well, this is the city of Springwood. That's an original, na original name. Uh, let's, let's do that. Well, it's a nice little small city. It started at this area around the cathedral and the train station, but it's all flowed out to the end. With some nice new constructed buildings, but the main event which happens every year is the Spring Food Rally Festival. It's from a weekend long. Right. Look, and they're just lining up to get searched for the forbidden stuff with the security in it as well. And, and here you can start buying your beer. So just after you freshly joined in, you can get some nice some drink. Uh, for the food, that's also important. The nice little food truck areas where they're just right. hanging out. And the big main stage. It's always mm -hmm. needed in a festival. And I forgot to run my game because they are dancing. <laughs> at least, at like least not all of them, but some are dancing with the flow. So that's always important at a festival. Always important. And I don't know if you know the dance. I, I don't one. know the dance. Ah, oh, that's the Gangnam style. It's the old one, but... Oh, you think I'd remember that? I had to dance to that once when I was a mascot. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> and, I don't uh, remember that stuff. Oh, that's in the, that's in the locket in your uh, memory, so... In the dark side. Yeah, we try not to access that part of my memory banks. No, no, no. Let's just go on to the main stage. This is the rally, where the rally cars stand up and wait to get aligned. Uh, here they're lining up for the show off. Here in the standings. Here they're cheering up for the for those two starting. They're racing against the police car. Uh, we're going a road through the rally line. Here some first road seats for the guys that sadly had to live here afterwards the rally was taken. Oh, I love it's that. Just, yeah, it's a nice bonky donkey bridge. But Ooh. there were... Oh, a little bit wobbly there. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see that. Okay, we didn't it, see it. Hear that chat, we didn't see it. Uh, allegedly. Uh, we're taking a nice route to the racetrack. Let's see. We're speeding it a little bit up because I only have five minutes. Nice little flying car that's going downhill. It's a really oh, wow. steep hill, but... They have to some airtime there. Yeah, and look at this corner then. They have to sharpen that with a drift, so that's gonna look awesome. Whoa. Uh, then they're going down through the rocks. They better don't fall off. This one survived, and we have some uh, illegal chairman down there. Some nice rocks onto that. And in this corner, something terrible happened. Someone crashed. He went too fast. Oh, so sad. But we can't wait. We have to finish the track. Because then we can get here. Also, it's a really hilly uh, area, so a lot of rocks. They can crash into that, but I hope they don't. Another nice drop. Nice with a little bit aerial. Uh, let's see. A little bit further. Nice little bridge across the highway where they drive over. Oh, I like that. Yeah, you get to cross right over the highway. Yes. Uh, then another 
turn and here's something terrible happened. This guy just crashed that car into the rock just because he wanted to overtake him. So mean. Oh, wow. Yeah, he didn't quite make that curve. Uh, hope he's okay. No, I know. Yeah, I hope so. I don't see the ambulance yet, sadly, but... Uh, this is the end part. Nice through the box. They have to keep inside the line, otherwise they crash. And that's the finish line. There's some nice little firework for every car that crosses the line. So. Oh, I like that. And I also like the... Uh... I like the tally board at the end to keep track of place and all that. That's actually really nice detail. Actually, yes. I thought you were ending it back in the city originally whenever you were laying it out, but I guess that turned into something else. No, I I, I did some research and some rallies. They do in a loop in a, in, a, in a round circle, but I just found with this oh. hills you had you had to do something with it, you know. It's, it's a nice, just... beautiful vista for sure. Yes, and then uh, yeah, the cars are taking the the ready trucks back, and this one is coming to pick up one new one, so. Yeah, and we, and we finish with a bang. Nice, and it looks like you have a very complete build, too. And with that, I mean, your time is up. But overall, I love what I see. It looks amazing. I love everything about it. I love the rally race idea. Again, I'm new yes. to the idea of rally races as of two hours and 15 minutes ago. Uh, or I guess just two hours and a bit ago, oh, yeah. but it's and great. Then... I love the idea of it. Uh, you've got actually a very sizable population in this amount of time, too, while doing all the yes. details. I love the different visuals. I love the little details you did with having the wrecked car, with having, you even took PO and instead of just leaving the car there, you actually yes. tilted it in to where you could actually see where maybe it's front end got smashed into the rock. That is such a good little detail. And I love to see little things like that, especially when you're going for it. And you've definitely gone all out on that detailing. Yes. Uh, and then the only thing that I will say is, did you consider trying to do a moving racetrack where the cars are actually moving through it? Yes. Do you know what's with that they are uh, usable? Yeah, well, I couldn't find those assets in it, so... Okay, uh, gotcha. And I think that was something that I have mentioned and that chat had mentioned too, and it's just something that, man, it's like, it was like, you get you hit all these check boxes with that, and I think even with that, absolutely stunning build, and of course, celebratory fireworks at the end. I love yes. it, but of course, we've got to move on. Uh, thank you so much, folks, for your consideration. Twitch.tv slash early rave. Available thank as a link in chat. Anytime. And of course, let's check out Cyberside. Oh. What's up? So, you're, you're, you're new to the competitive side. You've viewed us a lot, but just as a reminder, uh, you got five minutes on the clock uh, after I finish yeah. my little spiel and you start talking. And of course, I don't know if chat has anything in particular they're looking for this time around. I am going to take note of things like population. But aside from that, just take us on a journey, show us what you've got, and wow us. Well, there we go. This is my, uh, my total build. I'll zoom out because uh, it's quite big. There we go. So there we go. We've got the uh, city center here. We've got the uh, surrounding little uh, suburbs and uh, houses. We've got the uh, agriculture side. As you can see here, got the uh, utility body. Right. So I took I took my uh, inspiration from, like I said before, Boston and uh, New York. Unfortunately, there wasn't too many uh, Boston buildings in the workshop, so I had to use a lot of uh, New York City uh, buildings. Right. So yeah, the um my theme or well, the festivity that I was going for was some kind of uh, autumn uh, autumn harvest. So a lot of things like uh, pumpkins and uh, apples, I think, are readily available in autumn. So we'll start the uh, tour off with the uh, utility building. So here we go, we've got the uh, small power station. Very, uh, very simple stuff, you know. And then over here we've got the uh, water treatment plants. Again. Yeah, so yeah. I love seeing used, a good um, power system. <laughs> I, I feel that was very important. So that was the very first thing I did was uh, do all the uh, utility stuff. I felt, felt like, you know, a bit, you know, if I cheated a bit, if I uh, just pull up down, you know, a nuclear power station in the back corner somewhere, so. I even like the that. fact that you have the coal pile right there. That's actually like a great little detail that you don't see much. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Well, I thought, yeah, add a, add a little bit to the, uh, to the actual uh, power station. Yeah. And then, yeah, by the uh, utility buildings here, we've got the uh, agriculture side, which is uh, apple orchards. So you can see they're all apple trees. Well, they're meant to be apple trees. And that's part of the, uh, yeah, the, the uh, autumn harvest. And apples being uh, one of the major fruits available. 
So we go to the March and just simple uh, farms and orchards. And then when we cross over the river here, might be a little bit of flooding here. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to uh, fill all the gaps in. I felt like it went uh, way too big, but it was good. It was uh, interesting. It was a lot of fun. So, as you can see, I've got the uh, my low residential uh, kind of buildings. So I think these are based off our uh, Brooklyn buildings. So quite nice. And yeah, use profit profit up. Uh, uh, well, before before tonight to change all the trees. Unfortunately, I didn't get all the trees. Right. Not sure what happened there. I thought I got all of them before I uh, started, but yeah, it looks like uh, it's quite a few. And then yeah, with the uh, roads here, I'm using the uh, Roads United uh, mod to change the actual uh, vanilla roads to to like American style uh, roads to kind of fit with the uh, the Boston and the uh, New York kind of uh, feel to the city. Right. And then yeah, as we uh, get towards the city centre, the uh, yeah, we get more uh, high residential stuff and more high commercial kind of stuff. Right, Let's then see, yeah. do you have two minutes left? Uh, two minutes, so, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> it goes by fast. Yeah, wow. Let's see so some of the festivities that we've got here. Okay. Wow. So yeah, over here we've got the, uh, the music festival, part of the uh, autumn harvest. Celebrate, yeah, the, um, yeah, the harvest, autumn harvest. We've got a lot of uh, markets, uh, market plazas and all that. We've got trams in the city as well. We've got a food truck, a uh, small food truck festival as well, right near the uh, concert. And yeah, you can see like a lot of uh, a lot of different uh, market stalls as well. So yeah, a lot of uh, I guess farmers and uh, kind of uh, green grocer markets and the farmers markets selling their all, all their uh, autumn produce. I like that. I like that. Got about a minute left. A minute left, and yeah, this brings us to the uh, yeah the city centre here, which is Central Park, big library in the uh, town hall. And then yeah, over here you can see there's more uh, more more markets going on, more uh, festivities. We got a uh, yeah pumpkin statue, to the uh, the pumpkin harvesting as well, the pumpkin cro crops. Oh, I'm sure pumpkin loves that in chat. <laughs> And we go more pumpkin fields and more markets, you know, we've got a bigger markets. Is that a chirpy pumpkin? Places. That's a chirpy pumpkin. It, it is a, a chirpy pumpkin for sure, yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure that's what it's meant to be. Chirpy pumpkin. Yeah, hopefully uh, in the backdrop you can see like, yeah, we've got hot air balloons as well uh, traveling around, giving tours. Yeah, about 20 seconds left. Okay. Yeah, we've got the, uh, we've got the prison. I don't know why, but we've got a prison. More agriculture fields. And yeah, just a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of markets. Yeah, I a lot like of markets that. So... And, uh, yeah, we've got some concerts happening in uh, in town, and yeah, yeah, I love Whatever. that. So again, uh, the video is like a little bit lagged, but we've seen most of it so far, and we'll continue oh, to see okay. it, obviously. But it looks great. I love the fact that it's a fully integrated thing because obviously a lot of towns, because obviously it's kind of two types of festivals. You have the festivals where it's like, okay, you go to the fairground and then that's your festival. And then you've got kind of the citywide festivities like what you've got here. And I love that so much because that's something that you really do see in a lot of small to medium towns where it's just no matter who you are, no matter what you're doing, you're participating in this festival somehow, whether you're <laughs> attending, hosting shops, etc. And I love that. This really does feel like a big community feel. And I love the fact that, yeah, it's you got kind of a pumpkin festival as, to the side of it, and you've got farming fields where they, I would assume, grow pumpkins at some point. You know, you've got the music yeah. festival in the background, which, again, you do often see at the Harvest Festival, like, music and all that stuff, because they'll have, like, some headliners come in for a couple nights of it, and it's really great to see that. I love seeing all the different fall colors, too. That's something a lot of people forget when they're doing fall builds, that you can play with all these fall colors and still have some of the green, because you do have some of the green that I, looks are more baked into the vanilla buildings or vanilla assets, but you've disguised it really well with all these different colors, all the reds and the oranges and the yellows. I love that. And I love the fact that you actually have a fairly complete city. Obviously, there's a few gaps where it looks like, you know, there you can yeah. get it in. But you know what? That's okay. I mean, completeness is a wide category. You got a huge swath of those points for completing as much as you did. 
and overall just a stunning performance and especially for a freshman outing in cities in the snap i can't emphasize that enough because i'm sure you can talk to whoever you want you've heard a lot of people say it. your freshman outing is always your worst affair and if that's yeah, this definitely. is your worst i'm scared with how good you're gonna do in the future i really am but folks for your consideration twitch.tv slash cyber x and cyber well done and we'll look forward to seeing how you do in the rubric and the voting all right thank you uh, guys, Jim. awesome thank you and Jeff. folks that means that we are now off to the night morphus oh hello guys so uh you know the drill by now uh you got five minutes to take us on a tour and may i just say santa's sleigh <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I take it from here. It. When I saw it on uh, the workshop, I said, okay, my theme is Christmas and I have to use that Santa Slay blimp. Because I need I to it. do that. It's so great. And so, uh, my inspiration for uh, the city obviously was Christmas and in particular, was um, northern Italy, more specifically, don't remember if it's called South Tyrol or South Tyrol in English, how it's, how it's said, and Austria, where we have uh, small villages on the Alps uh, with all their mountain stuff, like this ski park, uh, with often we've got uh, wellness hotels, got uh, small village churches, just one main road, not and not that big. But way too often during the Christmas time we got our Christmas markets. As you can see here, right. we got all the various stalls and so on. We got our village church with the cemetery on the sunny side. Got Mm, good stuff like this one, like the, the, the funicular that connect directly to this place that is, as I said before, mostly a feeding city. <clears throat> but I've also added the main hub of the map itself. Like we've got here um, the train station got parking lot, obviously a garage, here we got the funicula, here we got the intercity bus station, so it works as a hub station for everything. Oh, here's Santa. Hey, Santa. Um, <laughs> I love that so much. I loved it so, so great. <clears throat> and here and there, obviously, as it's Christmas time, and it's not as a snow map, so I couldn't really use um, this uh, Sky Resort Park or how it's called. But uh, as I said also before, in the last year, that's not that much snow, unfortunately, because of climate changes and so on. And so it basically doesn't really work at, for now, hoping that in the next day it will snow. Right. Uh, we've got, uh, well, obviously, near the peak, we've got also a medical helicopter depot, for obvious reasons, because right. you have someone uh, from the ski resort or something like that uh, need, is in need of uh, some hospitals uh, and similar. Right. You can't really use a car that takes hours and hours. For need to go. and emergencies and whatnot. Yeah. Or stuff like that. Mm. Here, obviously, we got our, as I said, our main village, the main street, and some little other secondary roads here and there. More or less here and there, I've added uh, stuff like these trees, like lights uh, somewhere. You can see them, yep, like these. Obviously, you can, uh, it's time, it's during daytime, so they just disappear. Obviously, the fur. And do anything about that? Um, yeah, got stuff like that. And 
obviously same for the same reason of the zone that I decided to build base my city I uh, added a lumber zone I don't right. really know why I didn't have uh, industry demand at all for most of the two hours I made because I don't have much people I don't know but I am always zero demand so yeah it's just this few industries there um let's take a ride with the blip maybe right oh, that, it all looks really good i love it yeah so, much. so good and i do love the santa sleigh that's just it's so great <laughs> it's so great and it's uh, a lot of well not that much but yeah it works pretty well i would say it does yeah i mean He's just transporting people instead of presents, but no big deal. Uh, uh, so you have anything else that you want us to see in the next 20 seconds? Um, not really, to be honest. Just had, yeah, maybe you saw that I had some problems with this funicular, but I resolved everything. Not that okay. much time, so. That's fine, but overall, yeah. I love it. The Santa Slay thing I know got you some points with chat, uh, and that is very <laughs> unique. And I've been telling people that's how you get unique points. People always ask me, "Hey, why only have like two or three unique points?" It's like this is how you get some unique points on the board. You, you use something I haven't seen before, and it's absolutely great. I love it, and I love the idea that again, like you can tell that this really is kind of like a mountain village type thing, and maybe they are ready for their first snow type thing, or maybe this is just like a heat wave happening, and yeah. you can tell that's a little offset and like you can tell because it almost looks awkward without the snow but i kind of like that because it really does emphasize that i mean honestly it could be seen as kind of a commentary on the whole global warming thing so i think this has a lot of interesting angles i love the idea of it and i think it's really fun and it's just a great little way to preview the holiday season coming up and folks thank you for your consideration twitch.tv slash night morphus thank you again morphus thank for you. competing thank you. and always doing a legendary job we will be sure <laughs> to check you out in the votes bye bye all right and now we are on to taradra what's up taradra how are you sir appleseed himself mr appleseed so, himself. let me turn you, you down gonna give a him bit. a run okay okay so, go for it Okay, so Taraja is trying to get Johnny Appleseed to run for his money. So All right. let's see if he manages it. I got to show you the coup de grace first. This is the icing on the cake. This is the first night of the annual Apple Festival here in the town of Adams. And they celebrate ah. with fireworks. So there's your firework display. <laughs> I love for it. The, for the uh, town of Adams Apple Festival. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so with that being said, let's look at the city, shall we? Yes. Oh, okay. My um, so the way the city works out is there is a there is a city center right here. Um, kind of has a little water tower and a little commercial district where people can go to the shopping mall and, and, and kind of do their deed. Uh, over here is the businesses. It's actually built exactly how I wanted it to. Just big stock buildings just makes it look like industries there to stay, offices and buildings. Right. Um, across the uh, area here, we have the dam, and then we have an industrial area. This is just your basic run-of-the-mill industrial area. There's a train. We got some extra cargo uh, blocks here in case we need to add some additional cargo, recycling bin, you know, all the whole nine yards. It's on fire currently, but the fire department of the town of Adams is doing an excellent job of putting out the fires. The um, best job. <laughs> Breaking off from here, we have a small festival area outside of town. This is kind of where they have like concerts and, and plays and whatnot. Down the road here, we have a V. Uh, one half of the V goes into where all the citizens of the town of Adams live. It's a nice quiet area on the hill. Uh, they do have schools here, university, elementary, high school. They all use the same bus system because it's small. They don't need to have different buses. And then there's two, two different ways to get to this other area. First way, there's a farmer's market here. This actually turned out really well. We've got the uh, we've got the asset for the like the tree village here, and we've got the organic um, commercial here with a bunch of shops. So it looks like it's all planned out and neat. The parking spaces aren't being used, but that's okay because it's not in season yet. Farmer's market is next season. Right now, it's all about the apples. Ah. So we take a turn here and come over, and this is our apple festival area. This is where the Adams Apple Festival area takes takes on. And what we have in here is it just they just despawned 
But we did have apple orchards here, but they just got all replaced by these buildings. I don't know why, but we had them working for a while. So that's a shame. But here it's in the middle, the, it's big industry coming in to take over. Yeah, but here in the middle, we have the festival area where everybody groups up. There's another festival zone here. We've got hot air balloon tours around the various parks and stuff. People are making cider. Uh, there's kid parks to play, play people for kids to play around. And you can walk along the orchards and pick your own apples. But that's currently what's going on. And if we want to, I think we can set off some more fireworks, maybe. No, hold on. Let me see if I can pull this up and get this right the right way. Bam. There we go. We can set off some more fireworks because that's how the Adam's Apple Festival likes to bring in their nights. Is with some fireworks. I, I love it. Such showmanship. <laughs> so uh, that's just great. Anything else you want to show us in the next uh, minute and 50 seconds? That's really all. I mean, I don't really have anything super crazy going on. If you guys want to see some stats, we're just under 2,000 people, 1,994. Uh, we're, we're losing money, obviously, because this isn't a big city. We've got big stuff in here. Right. Our, our traffic is 84%. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's. I went for a small town feel and not for stats. And right. like I said last time, I try to build a city that evokes emotion and memories and nostalgia. And I, you know, I try to make it the best I could. Small town, Apple Festival, and had the ways in and out to it. If you want to see it during the daytime, we can do that too. I have this thing turned on. And we can look at it and uh we can give you a quick little run through right here this is how the apple fields look in the daytime and then this is the farmer's market and then over here is the neighborhood just basic little blank streets nothing too crazy you don't have to worry about stop signs kids walk around no fear it's fun playgrounds in certain areas hey man you gotta satisfy the kids i mean overall this is this is just a great build I yeah, I enjoy it a lot. And if you look at it from the water, you can have you have a city skyline. Huh. I'm suspecting that there is an apple festival that takes place here. I I like that a lot. And again, like so, I will rescind what I said earlier. Taraja can detail. I oh. I officially believe that Taraja has detailing capability in him now. So there's there's your good news, Taraja. I know that was one of your big missions for today. So <laughs> I believe. Uh, I also just overall love the idea. I think this is one of the most unique things, having an Apple Festival. I love it. It's so great. It's so unique. And it's so fun, too. And it's so intimate. And that's something that, again, I, it hit so many good check marks there. The other thing I love is that you didn't, and I love, and I wonder if this was conscious, and I'll go ahead and ask you, but did you consciously decide to go against your strength? Because one of your big strengths in this competition is big bold cities with a lot of population and all that because you normally just run people up in that in those categories so was that an intelligent decision or was that just a you decide to focus on the apple well i mean so it it, it has to be a festival build and right. you have to focus more on the festival than on the city so right. it, it took a lot to, to transfer over i could have built a giant metropolis i could have had a giant city over there but i really oh, yeah, want to be more on the, on the actual festival itself and uh, I think I did a better job this time with presenting the actual theme than building a big city. I would definitely agree wholeheartedly, and it's and it definitely shows. And uh, again, we'll wait to see how you do in the finalized rubric, which I'm still finalizing right now. And then, of course, the chat vote. But of course, chat, for your consideration, twitch.tv slash Taradra. And we will look forward to seeing how you do in the polls. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. I appreciate uh, the, the whole competition. Everything's awesome. And the whole community here is amazing. It uh, is amazing. Always. Best community on Twitch. You know what I always say. Yep. <laughs> All right. So now, best community on Twitch. It is up to us to decide who wins Cities in the Snap. That's right. It's not just up to me. I might sit up here and judge, but you guys are also part of the rubric. So we're going to go ahead and get this poll going. And also, Cybex with the gift sub bomb. Five gift subs to the community. Can we get some love and chat for Cybex with amazing support? Thank you so much, Cybex. And let's go ahead and launch this poll at the same time. So we've got the poll launched. Be sure to enter your decision for who you think has the best. And Dinges, thank you so much for that sub. One month of tier one. And welcome to the Season Snap community. Desarth Vader, Goodfella Games, Verna, and Alan, and Manova. Thank you all so much for all of the support and for joining the community. 
be sure to vote in the poll above in chat, or if you can't see that for some reason, be sure to type slash vote one, slash vote two, slash vote three, or slash vote four to vote for your choice for who should win Cities in a Snap. And thank you so much, Cybex, for that love. It really means a lot. And thank you to everyone who helped support the Cities in a Snap event. It really means a lot. Choo-choo, break cars with a train. Bake, break cars with a train indeed. You are a train, Cybex. It's true. The vote was on early. Uh, nope, the vote was on right on time for me. Maybe there's a little bit of a delay today. Uh, Twitch is very exploding right now due to IRL events that are happening. So it's possible that there are just some random delays that are happening. But be sure to get your vote in. Let's go ahead and see how the polls are looking. And so far, wow, the polls are looking interesting overall. Definitely looking interesting. And Cybex with another sub to the community. High five. Can we get some love in chat for Cybex? Thank you so much for your support of the Cities in a Snap event. It really means a lot. And quite to listen. Enjoy your emotes and such. There we go. And then... Again, folks, be sure to vote. Vote for your favorite city, not your favorite streamer. That's the most important thing here, folks. Vote for your favorite city, not your favorite streamer. And so far, the chat polls are going very nicely. And Kitty Claude with another gift sub, this time to Sweetsy. So, Sweetsy, not only did you walk away with a, an amazing key uh, to an amazing uh, DLC, Sunset Harbor, you also walked away with a gift sub and all of the emotes and such that come with it. Enjoy the privileges in Discord, enjoy the emotes, and thank you, Kitty Claude, for your support. High five really means a lot. Our giveaway warden, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Aw, thank you so much. And Sweetsy, you're worth it. Always worth it. And also, new sub badges rolling around. Love it. I love the new sub badges. Because they actually help delineate who's been here longer. <laughs> and Cybex with the bits. High five, my friend. Thank you so much for 125 bits. It really means a lot. Thanks so much for your support of the event. You're welcome, CIS and Sweetsy. Yes. CIS and Sweetsy. I know CIS at least thinks. You know, I bet Sweetsy does too. Thank you so much, Cybex. Really means a lot. High five. And of course, folks, be sure to use Sketch Note 1, 2, 3, or 4 to get your voices heard. And this is going to be a close one, folks. It's going to be a close one. Bye, I like the color of blue. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But you know what, Gareth? It's okay, because your name is kind of blue. It's a light blue, but it'll work. All right, so we have a chat vote. Let me go ahead and get this chat vote entered. Oh, let's see here. It's Taradra, then Early Rav for the chat vote. And then it's a tie between Cyber and Night Morphus. There we go. Chat voted about how I thought they would this time. So we'll go ahead and meet those two in the middle. There we go. Okay, so it looks, yeah, will Tarot to get the win or will he get second again, folks? What do you think? When adding into my rubric, will Tarajra win or will Tarajra end up second? Tarajra took the chat vote. And now we will find out because by a margin of just a single point, as per the rules and season snap and everything with the chat vote being input into the rubric the winner of festivities in a snap on november 7th 2020 is congratulations to rajra on winning Whoa. cities in a snap Whoa. or should i say you you lost your second place i lost my second place this isn't supposed to happen <laughs> But you know what? That's okay. What? Fixed. <laughs> yep, there we go. Well, damn it. Well, I... Uh, you sure. broke your streak. You I broke, broke your streak, streak. Taradra. Oh, my goodness. But you know what? As penance, you're going to have to come back at the... Uh, not the end of the month, but in two weeks' time on the 21st to come and participate in the finals. More festivities than snap, so I'm sure you'll have something lovely for us. So how's it feel to walk away with a W in a mainline event? I, I feel like putting down more fireworks. That's what I feel like doing. I mean, yeah, put down more fireworks. <laughs> Celebrate. And folks. I, I, I wasn't second. expecting it. I was going for second, but first is first works too. And I think it's again, because you had a very unique idea and you overwhelmingly won the chat vote. And I think that's because people liked the uniqueness of the idea. They liked the feel of it. And it again, it's it stands out enough from the rest. And you we had some very good ones. So oh. don't mind that. Thank you guys for, for supporting the city skylines community and thanks for liking my city, I suppose. 
Yeah. And of course, best community on Twitch. And we will be back with you in a couple weeks, Taradra. And we will chat with you soon. I do. All right. So, folks, uh, Early Rave, welcome in, Early Rave and Co. Amazing. Absolutely amazing event overall. We had four magnificent builds, but only one could win. And it looks like chat decided to teeter it in the favor of Taraja, but that's okay. That's why we have these checks and balances in place. And you know what? A very unique event. I love this. Early Rave did great. Cybersite did great. Nightmorphus did great. And of course, Taraja has done great as well. And folks, we're going to go ahead and raid. That's right. We're going to go ahead and raid the winner. We're going to say hello. And we are going to have a good time over there. So I want everyone to stick around for the raid. Be sure to say hello. Be sure to tell them that they're having a beautiful... Uh, ask them if they're having a beautiful day. Be sure to also congratulate him on the win. And also be sure to congratulate the other three competitors on the, today's event. It was a great event. And again, winning by a single point. Not an easy feat. But you know what, chat? You made it so with your overwhelming support in the chat vote. And until next time. This is Cities in a Snap, Casgem, signing out. Oh, and before I do, quick plug, sorry, quick plug here for the merch store, the Patreon. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. Check out the YouTube. Check out the Reddit posts and join the Discord. And now, without further ado, oh wait, sorry, one last thing. Also be sure to check out my pers personal streams, Monday through Thursday, starting roughly 10 a.m. U.S. Chicago time. Now, without further ado, this is Cities in a Snap, Casgem, See ya!